my god. Izzy's been struggling. It's been an ordeal. You having a time? Been having a whole last time. A whole last time. Indeed. 12 minutes late or three minutes earlier than usual. <laughs> oh. Uh, Hello, my beautiful boys. We're sorry we're late. OBS was having some issues with my audio equipment. It was, mm -hmm. it was registering that my mic was there. It just refused to acknowledge that audio was coming out of it. Yeah. And I had a problem with that. <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> you explain how you edited the episode and no one can hear you. <laughs> like, I'm talking like... for like four hours and somehow <laughs> no one mentions it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Me and Mac taking all the credit for the episode. <laughs> god. <laughs> heckin' damn it. <laughs> oh. But yeah. Thankfully, Chase came in, had a good suggestion for a workaround for this exact piece of equipment that seems to be working, assuming y'all can actually hear me. You can't hear me, right? Okay, you're good. <laughs> hey, can everyone can everyone hear the is boy? Please, please you know, sound off in chat. <laughs> please tell me I'm not just screaming into the void. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can hear you. Hooray! Huzzah! Oh, well, war boy, that sounds like a you problem. Hmm. <laughs> what up? Huh. Is Mike is louder than everyone else? <clears throat> well, shame. Let me let me let me let me see here. <laughs> this is what the day is gonna be, y'all? Just so you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> also, that is something I don't hear very often: being louder than everyone else. Yo, right? Yeah. Oh my I, god. I mean, I I I just listened to a little bit of the stream just now, and it's. I mean, yes, but. Not by a huge amount, so you don't yeah. need to turn yourself too much. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it is it is unusual for you to be the loudest on stream. It's quite odd. But yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to do another post-mortem if you guys are interested. Kind of just spool through the episode and talk about any notable shit, some like effects that might be interesting to talk about or just some some writing anecdotes and what have you like a voice act and stories and like in, you're saying like stopping at notable things we'll stop at like everything because we're stupid yeah <laughs> like, we won't shut up <laughs> we won't shut up <laughs> we really oh. like making these this is a good time <laughs> mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. and you know and we'll even talk we have we can think of at least one alternate joke we were talking about before yeah. stream at least yeah. at least one alternate joke to what's in the episode yeah. which i knew we had an alternate joke for that scene i couldn't remember what it was until you started mm -hmm. referring like doing that bit carrie yeah mm -hmm. so i'm like i know that we try to have like different versions of scripts so that when we do these we can like show the jokes that didn't make it in but i'm like man i really hope we didn't delete that <laughs> Like, ooh. <laughs> it was so dumb. It was, it was very dumb. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, Izzy, to take a moment and let the, the good people at home know what the fact they're looking at. Yeah. They're looking at Premiere. This, mm -hmm. this is the episode timeline. Or rather, mm -hmm. specifically, this is one of the different tabs I have opened that is... Uh, Kind of all of the audio smashed into one track because uh, I did a bit of a different thing this time. Uh, after after I was done kind of designing all of the audio stuff, I sent it off to a good friend, uh, Turnip Audio, who did all of like the kind of uh, like mastering and like messing with the levels, putting on There's EQ no and stuff like that, just making it sound like really super professional in a way that is completely beyond me. Like it's it's we magic, and I I don't understand how he does it. Like. Mm -hmm. He's very good at what he does, and he, mm -hmm. he offered to uh, to mix this one for me. He's we magical. really appreciate you accepting your limits as a human being. This is a huge step for you as an editor. <laughs> and dude, uh, not only that, some scenes were lip flapped by other people. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, we're so proud of Izzy. <laughs> like, was, this is his baby. This is a those of you who don't know, deal. that shit's unheard of 
like mm -hmm. I don't know, two, three years ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, I hate like, it. Don't even, don't even bring that up to Izzy because he will cut you if you even suggest anyone else touching a COA. <laughs> two, three years ago, that's what that was. Yeah. He will accept <laughs> feedback from us, but the Always. actual editing will be him in his editing dungeon. And woe betide anyone who dares come between him and his computer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it feels weird. Like, I, I, logically, I know it's good to, to outsource stuff, but, like... Yeah. But it's your baby. I yeah. I don't... It's Again, weird. The, the things that I feel make it super special and, like, your touch is, like, when you really go for, like, Photoshopping and After Effects stuff. And I know that's the stuff that you love doing. Yeah. So, outsourcing audio stuff to like someone else and outsourcing things that are really simple like lip flaps is good. It's very good. And it helps the episodes come out faster, which is what we want. Yes, but at the same time. But at the same time, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like cutting off an arm. The chat's proud of you. <laughs> but enough of that. Um, yeah. So yeah, I guess let's uh, let's start going through it. Oh, I guess man. yeah. 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 This you may you may wonder why this part is different, like than this part, because <laughs> uh, yeah, we uh. You may notice that our, our uh, sponsor at the beginning of the episode was different this time. That was very much like a last minute thing. Mm -hmm. So had to quickly record some uh, some new dialogue and throw that in there. So yeah. Dude, also, I, I can't remember if we said this in the last postmortem. We are so bad about remembering to record the disclaimer. <laughs> like it's always <laughs> like the last thing where we'll be like, oh shit, we didn't do the disclaimer. Oh, who hasn't done it in a while? Who can we get to record? <laughs> like, it's every so time. Every time. I... It'd be, like, pretty much oh. finished the episode. <laughs> it's like, shit, we didn't get anyone to record that. Well, what I love... <laughs> what I love is that that wasn't a problem this time. We, we yeah. like, sat down and we're like, no, we got this. Lennon's doing the disclaimer. We'll just factor it in with the rest of her recording. Nailed it. And then, you know, we got a new sponsor. Like... As the episode was finishing up, mm -hmm. and we didn't want to delay the episode, so we still had the release with the original disclaimer, which yeah. is the, that's the version on Patreon still, I believe. And the one that was at our 10 year anniversary when we yeah. first wrote it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's the one that's also still on Patreon, but the version on YouTube mm -hmm. uh, was like a day or two later, just still editing it up. Yeah. But it was a case of, we were ahead of the curve, and then we got a new sponsor. <gasps> Right at the last second, so it didn't fucking matter. Uh-huh. <laughs> Fate is cruel. Yeah. Destiny a mean bitch. Oh, what that time? destiny. What <laughs> time we we were like ahead of the game. <sighs> oh. oh boy. Nope. I'm uh Uh no, but oh. uh, I'm I'm so glad you know, we were able to get Lennon to come back and just do this new one so easily. Mm -hmm. And we're also very grateful to our sponsors. Heckin, y'all y'all use our code. Go get some heckin' ExpressVPN. Do it. Yeah, do it. Mm -hmm. ExpressVPN. Mm-hmm. We, we should post our link in the in the chat. We should. Heck, I'll go see if I can get it. Yes. <laughs> use the chat, and then you can figure out how to get three free months. Huh. I think you, I think you gotta sign goodness. up for a year. But you get three free months. Which I think it's the deal. Uh, oh, yeah, well, we're very, we're very happy with the with these with the new sponsor, and we're very happy we were able to get this to work and not end up like I, w I was worried when it was like an eleventh hour change in the sponsorship that you know mm. this was going to delay the release on YouTube. It added like maybe a day. I uh, I'm, I'm again I'm glad this came <clears throat> together as smoothly at the end as it did. That doesn't always happen. Got a very simple link, just expressvpn.com slash swee, S-W-E. Yeah. Well, I can help us out, let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'll actually switch over to the more in-progress versions of the 
audio won't be all finalized, but you can actually see the the pieces and whatnot. Nice. Well, Good yeah, call. I think this is that is the better visual <clears throat> for this this yeah. kind of stream, and people can see all the bits and pieces of what you've been fucking going through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boy. See, didn't I tell you I'd get you here? Welcome to Arun, home of the World Tree. And Alfheim's largest freestanding I can't cameo. remember Oz. how or why <laughs> we added the pinwheel. <laughs> I don't know why it specifically was, it was a yeah. pinwheel. I think, I think it just started with as simple a joke as, what is something incredibly tacky we can add to this shot mm-hmm. to take away from the, the beauty. majesty and <laughs> yeah. the beauty. What is the worst landmark we could think of? Yeah, like so something like, that a local would be like, oh, God, it brings in money, but I really wish it wasn't there. It's so yeah. fucking upsetting to look at. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's, what's some, like, roadside attraction that your family mm-hmm. would drag you to? Like, we're going to go to fucking Tennessee to see the world's biggest ball of twine. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, exactly. That's... that's that's very much the energy we were aiming for, and I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why we landed on pinwheel, but that's very much. Mm-hmm. We were just looking at the shot and just being like, "This looks beautiful." Yeah, How like do dude, we ruin this. That's for sure. One of those things where, like, one of us would just be like, "I want to put something in there that'll like ruin it." What could we put in there? And then we just sit for like five, ten minutes in like silence, saying random shit until one of us says something, and then the rest of us go. <laughs> Yes, that's the one. <laughs> what's, what's, put it in. Basically, it just comes down to like, what's like the funniest word? Mm-hmm. Freestanding sure. pinwheel. <laughs> did it? How did you add the pinwheel? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing super complicated. Like it basically just amounts to uh, two layers that I pulled in from Photoshop. Uh, mm-hmm. Kind of turn them off here. Uh, one of them is just the stand, and one of them is the pinwheel itself. Mm-hmm. I mean, just turn yeah, one of those like off. And whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can see the the stand disappears because they're separate chunks, so mm-hmm. that I can get the pinwheel to just kind of slowly rotate on its uh, on its central axis. Is that just keyframing? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, okay. for a, for a, an effect <laughs> like this, the actual <laughs> animation is real simple. I just got to make sure that the uh, the uh, kind of pivot point is directly in the center so that I can just keyframe one end of the clip to be uh, at zero uh, degrees and then like mm-hmm. way the fuck later, like really doesn't matter. It's really more a matter of getting like the speed down. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like one full rotation plus 136 degrees in this particular case or negative okay. rotations. Hell yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I think, uh, there, I think there's a symbol. lot of, I think there was a lot of uh i think most of the work for this one was just going into photoshop and like trying to make it look like it kind of belongs there like getting like the right amount of kind of grain on it so yeah that it fits the animation like since the color palette is so different it was never gonna look like it completely belonged and that is <laughs> yeah. part of the joke but it's <laughs> like it's uh yeah it's an interesting line to kind of kind of walk yeah, because if it's super, like, sharp, it's like, okay, uh, it's, like, throwing me off, man. It's, like, a kind of uncanny valley kind of thing. Like, you know it's not supposed to be there, but you want to make it look like it's there as much as you can. Mm-hmm. Like, I get you. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the whole thing <laughs> and the fucking box around it spinning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but peek behind wow, the curtain. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Really makes you appreciate the scale of just how incredibly boned I am. Aw, oh, but- yeah. That's a that's a simpler effect where mm-hmm. like Kirito um kind of <laughs> narrows his eyes at some point during that shot, but like mm-hmm. in order to kind of retime it, basically mm-hmm. just uh mask that out so that I could make him narrow his eyes exactly when I wanted him to rather than just Ooh. when the footage allowed it. Crafty. The boy the bone I am. Aw, buck up there, champ. We've had a long day of diplomacy and light treason. Why don't you just take a step back and enjoy the moment for a sec? <sighs> I guess it is a pretty spectacular view. Yeah, what? this <laughs> fucking mm-hmm. 
How many layers is this shot? Yeah. Many. God damn. There are, this is a deceptively difficult shot. That's how, like, all of the shows are. Yeah. It's like, to make it look smooth and not weird, you gotta put a lot of work in, man. Yeah, we will definitely need to do a post-mortem of Maha 3 at some point. Oh, dude, I wish mm -hmm. we'd done that sooner, because fucking, we're gonna forget how we wrote half of those fucking jokes. Like, I'm sitting here being like, why did we put Terrence in? We just wanted to, right? <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> like, half of our point. jokes are just like us fucking bullshitting and then deciding <laughs> to write it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dude, but yeah. the amount that I am not going to spoil, but we wrote yesterday, the holy <laughs> shit. Y'all, oh. like, last, like, not yesterday's writing session, the one before, I pitched something that I knew couldn't get in there because of the sensor. Mac reworked it so that it could get past the sensor. And we then we looked at it. it. We thought that was it. And then we looked at it again yesterday, and as he was like, I want it to be like a little bit more like princessy. Like, let's like figure this out. And then just stream of consciousness said the funniest fucking thing. And me and Mac were like, write that shit down. My favorite part <laughs> being that Izzy immediately regretted it and demanded yep. that we not force him. And we were mm -hmm. like, two out of three, bitch, put it in the script. You think you but wept while he typed it? <laughs> <laughs> I just Why do you think that. we were laughing? <laughs> but it's, it's no. <laughs> Not everything oh. I say needs to be written down. I just say it to get it out of my brain. Yeah, and onto the page. No. Of course. Of course. No. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah, fun that's... retreat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the shot like you know, there's obviously, you know, the pinwheel was added, but that's probably the easiest part of this whole thing, because it was mostly just, like, a copy-paste from the previous, like, uh, shot. The really difficult stuff was, uh, the fact that there's a bunch of twinkly lights going on throughout this entire conversation, and also wanting Leafa to, uh... Turn... Yeah, right? Let's see here. She does. Yeah. She yeah. turns there. Yeah. And obviously, if the uh, if there weren't a bunch of twinkly lights, I could have just frozen the shot, and it wouldn't mm -hmm. be it wouldn't have been a problem. Yeah. But there are, so I need to kind of let the animation run, which means yeah. that there's always the chance of uh, her animation repeating. But obviously, uh. I need her to stay in that pose. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's like a lot of just finicky masking. Masking, no. Yeah, a lot. A lot of this is just masking out Leafa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was just Kirito. Kirito, thankfully, very simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Congratulations on your fiftieth month of subscription, Super Reflective. Just oh, so thank you, Super Reflective. Oh my gosh. Thank you. An absolute sweetie. I always find this interesting, the, the boxes you come up with to crop characters in and out of shots. Mm -hmm. Dude, mine are way messier. Like, Izzy's are more squares and mine are more circles. And whenever we were, we was, like, teaching me, he was like, you don't need to make, like, that many. <laughs> like, you can just... And I'm like, no, I like the shape. <laughs> <laughs> gotta work efficiently. If there's, like there's like a million points on a million shots, it adds up and slows down your computer. I know. I try to not do it, but I'm still just like, there we go, I don't do it. Like, uh, Would AI help with the animation stuff? No, because fuck AI. I'm sorry, but fuck you. <laughs> I mean, AI is... Just kind of part of a lot of the programs we use. It's true, but fuck you. <laughs> AI's trying to take her voice acting jobs. I'm angry at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a tool. It can be used for good things and bad things. It definitely can. People are trying to use it for bad things. <laughs> Y'all see the Tesla deep flake fucking Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> Oh my, or I heard about it anyway. Yeah. I was like, I hadn't. I'm so excited for him to sue them. Oh my god. God. Yeah, I think a shot like this. 
Did I? I think I froze this once it got to her final animation. Leave. So. <laughs> you felt your air in school. Yeah. In the background. <laughs> I, no, I did not. Okay. Yeah, mm. he's he's yeah. right next to me too, and man, mm -hmm. he's having a great time. Whatever's happening. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, normally I would have frozen Leafa when she got to her kind of final pose here, but again, uh -huh. twinkly lights. But <sighs> she's also at you know a different point in the animation than the background, so I needed mm -hmm. to be very careful that like the twinkly lights that are kind of within her masked area didn't look like they were kind of fading out at a weird time as they got to the edge of the mask. Yeah. But thankfully, the shot was relatively nice, mm. and it's far enough away that, like, <clears throat> we've had a long nothing yeah. like that and should they're, be super noticeable. They're kind of blobby, which yeah. helps. Like, if it was, like, a fucking clear-ass light, it would be like, oh, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. If it was, like, a solid shape that was really in your face. Mm-hmm. Oh, did that get pulled in? Weird. Yeah, man. <laughs> this is gonna happen a whole lot. There's a whole, as you can tell, there's a whole lot of shit on the timeline, so it's going chug. Indeed. Oh, I think something might have accidentally gotten moved at some point. Uh oh. <laughs> a blaze. Thank you. Blaze. There we go. Fix that. Ew. Hey! You <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> really enjoy this. Look at all that shit. <laughs> there's a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. there's, there's so much here. <laughs> Two of these are just for the lip flaps. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this this was another tough one. I feel like I'm gonna be saying that a lot. I am so looking forward to the end of Alfheim because I will yeah. no longer have to deal with fucking Yui and her sparkly wings. How dare you talk about your daughter that way? I'm sorry, but her wings are inconvenient. And because I, I mean everyone's uh, wings are inconvenient, but the fact that Yui is always tiny means she's got constant sparkles. And for this particular one needed to let's see here. That one is just Kirito's eyes. I'm just waiting for Dust Clouds and Gun Gale to be just as annoying and for you to have the same yep. process of screaming and <laughs> cursing God's name. Yep, it's gonna be some uh... other bullshit that you didn't fucking think about and then you're gonna like, I missed the sparkly wings. I wish that was my fucking problem. Oh my god, I'm really hoping not. I'm really hoping. <laughs> oh, but yeah, for, for this one in particular really just had like th this like image of like it would i really want uh yui to just slowly slide into frame as she's going like hey like yeah she's, she's like oh fuck come on what did we do now but obviously you know the actual <laughs> animation did not super accommodate that so kind of had to cut out kirito get some custom lip flaps for him so that he looks sad and like kind of afraid uh including like jaw movements and all of that mm -hmm. uh, oh, lip flaps with fucking jaw movements ah, it's a pain in the goddamn ass yeah they are some of the most difficult lip f things to lip flap especially if there is a moving background and jaw movements fuck mm -hmm. uh, that's it a lot of the time we'll be like, can we not use it? Can we find a way to just not use that shot? Like, it's fucking there impossible. there a way? Yup. Oh my god. Uh, let me just remind myself. Cause yeah, there's just like a whole other After Effects sequence buried in here that is just <laughs> to recreate Yui's sparkly wings. Oh my god, boy. Oh, Yui. You a girl, why? <laughs> why you gotta do me like that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another little peek behind the curtain here. Because mm. you don't actually see all of Yui's wings, didn't bother trying to recreate the entire wing. That's totally fair. 
Work yeah. smarter, not harder, bitch. Let's go. Uh, I know I no, I didn't actually have to recreate these. Or did I? Fuck. I can't even remember. Cause I, I mean, obviously, been working I, on this for like a solid year, so it makes sense. <laughs> I obviously cut her out. That's just mm -hmm. the thing for Bat. Um, the wing mask. Oh yeah, and this intern is referencing Photoshop files. Oh. Huh. Yeah. A lot of nests within nests here. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's how it goes, man. Huh. But yeah, po point of this After Friends sequence is, is just to uh, recreate the sparkles. Hmm. And make sure that her wings look good. And all of that. <laughs> So that I could kind of have her just sitting there, uh, sparkling as long as we need. Mommy, I find your life. Stop her twinkling. Mm hmm. God Can't damn. do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Mm hmm. Freaking, this shot just does not exist in the original. You make it? Yeah. God damn You want to talk about how you made that for a second? <laughs> yeah. God, we're like a minute in, and you've already been like, I made so many fucking things. <laughs> like, I was exhausted. This like, episode what? took so long, and this <laughs> is why. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, this shot of Yui in this scene does not exist. I had to go into the previous episode where they were in, like, the cave with, like, the gleam eyes on the bridge. Had to mm -hmm. just cut her out of that. But obviously, her wings are transparent, so I can't just cut out her wings. You would oh. see that the previous background was still showing through them. Also, you, you know, wings, huh? fucking sparkle. So yeah, I needed to remake the wings and find another patch of ground that I could kind of fudge to make it look like it's at the uh, the correct angle here. Did I do anything special with that? Where is that? I think I... Yeah, I needed to take that into Photoshop. What did that? What did that look like? What do you look like without your little wings, Yui? What you doing? Uh, Kazer, who just had their twenty-eight month resub. You know, oh, thank you. They're asking what made you three want to do the stream. Uh, the fact that we did it for the last couple episodes, and you guys seem to enjoy this you know, little peek behind the curtain that we do. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, I think we've only done it for one other episode. Right? And um, people were asking about this one. They were like, hey, can y'all gonna do a behind the scenes? Gonna do a postmortem? We were like, okay, there's demand. Sure. I, I think we I think we did it for two other ones. Did we? Yeah, let me okay. double check. Mm -hmm. I'm misremembering. Yes, we did 15 and 16. Oh, sick. Okay, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so yeah, you, you guys can see that. So, that's what that shot originally looked like. You gotta recolor that shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's that's the wrong uh, lighting. <laughs> yep. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Actually, did I? Let she look, definitely here. looks brighter on ah. Premiere. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I recolored it in uh, in Premiere rather than in Photoshop so that I could fine tune it a little bit more easily. Mm -hmm. so if I turn off Lumetri color here. Yeah. Dog, Yui. Mm-hmm. That does describe her, this arc. Yeah, right? <laughs> She's done with our shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Very important thing to, to take note of if you're trying to cut something out of one scene and put it in another. You gotta pay super attention to the lighting and, like, the color palette. Because that would oh. be a dead giveaway if it's even a little bit off. I hate color correction i fucking hate doing it i don't have good eyes for it and it's one of those things where you'll be staring at it for a really long time and then you're like is it right i can't tell my eyes are blurring i have to like look away and then look back yeah, they're after... blurring again i have to look away and look back <laughs> like... it's one of those it's one of those many yeah. editing things where it's very easy to lose sight of the forest for the trees mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's oh, basically you just you just it's a skill you develop over time no, for sure. I just hate doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I can do it, but I'm like, ugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm trying to remember exactly, because obviously it looks like I messed with the perspective on this one. So I think it was, I just found like a patch of flat ground and then warped it 
with Photoshop tools to make it look like it was receding into the background. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Again, so, man, it's just the background like, is how, also something how long you is, made. <laughs> yeah, how long is she there for? Like, how long does the shot last? A few seconds? Uh, let's see. Uh, that is about eight seconds. Eight seconds, and that's probably like all week. I'll work, maybe. Oh, for this? No, yeah. this is like a day. Okay, still. Eight seconds. <laughs> Like, yes, yeah, so, some things all are is work others. for fucking eight seconds, bitch. <laughs> like, oh, and then see, also, for me, that, that would be a week. <laughs> for me, that would be a week for sure. Because you're still learning still a long. lot of stuff. Okay. Still, that's why we gave you the more difficult show to edit. That's why whenever there's complicated shit, I'm like, Izzy, do you want to just do this? Like just <laughs> one. He'll do yes, it faster, and two, he enjoys doing it. <laughs> like, you hear that fucking excitement? That boy loves it. It's what I live for. It's my reason <laughs> for existing. <laughs> uh, this one, okay, yeah, this one was a lot easier. Like, I th I have to deal with the, the UE sparkles, but because she hangs in that spot long enough, I can kind of just crossfade and uh, repeat the same shot. Nice. Oh, see yeah. there. Those are always mm -hmm. nice. Those are so nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then the rest of this is just for, like, accounting for the lip flaps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shortcuts that don't cheapen the shot are always Life. the best. Life. I the say best. we split up and gather ourselves up. Making shit like that where you're just like, yeah, we'll just have the fucking far away shot. Let's go. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Shots like this where there's nothing to add. No lip flaps. No, no weird effects or anything. Yep. Just plop that footage down and you're good. Oh, that oh. must feel so good. Chef's kiss. We can still get a raid going. Attention, you little rascals. The game will be shutting down from 4 a.m. to 3 p.m. for some scheduled maintenance. Once we're back, the following changes will be applied to our recent so say no to I'm tired of yeah. <laughs> First thing so, in the morning. Um... Do we want to pull up the script and just read out the entirety of what Chase is saying in the background there? I mean, oh, I, yeah! I mean, I could just play it. I can oh, that's true. It. Hell yeah, do it. Did, well, in, I mean, case, did we get, in case you were this, what? It, does that include the Once whole thing? We're back, yeah. The yeah. following changes will be applied to our recent "Say No to Drugs" update. Terry the Tweaker Tarantula will no longer be handing out free samples of LSD in the Aru Town Square. The movement speed bonus from the item Crystal Meth has been reduced from 200% to 150%. Magic mushrooms will no longer allow the user to gaze beyond the veil of our fraudulent reality and caress the glistening abs of God himself. Cigarettes will no longer cause area of effect damage over time. Weed remains unchanged and awesome. <laughs> Weed <laughs> remains unchanged and awesome. I forgot <laughs> about the fucking area effect bonus joke about C. Yeah! I forgot that was in there. Yeah. It's like, how can we take the effects of drugs and translate them into game terms? <laughs> Secondhand smoke is area of effect damage over time. Terry the Tweaker Tarantula. He's in the episode, you guys. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll point him out when he shows up. But yeah. Did you not yeah, notice um, him? Also, I also love when I see, like, reaction videos and people are like, why is it goofy? Like, they just completely blank on the that fact that it's us. Yeah, that they, the, yeah. this is a voice established earlier in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the announcer uh, when the curator first logs in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His true nemesis. Naming screen guy. Alfheim naming screen guy. <laughs> yeah, Terry, Terry the Tweaker Tarantula. Yeah. Yeah. He's in the episode, you guys. God. <laughs> Beloved mascot, Terry the Tweaker Tarantula. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I don't know what it is with us with the name Terry and Terrence. <laughs> like, I can in this. Well, we were on a thing at that point, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a funny name I'll in our mind. I'll direct you to the nearest inn. Good, good name. Make this one too easy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> yeah, let me let me grab that here. 
I'm trying to remember when we were writing, if we were like, okay, we need Yui to interject. And it might've been one of those things where it was like, okay, but I don't think we can because there aren't any Yui shots. And then Izzy was like, don't worry about it. And me and Mac are like, Izzy. Izzy I'll take no. care of it. Izzy, please. Also, please. Alphonse, Izzy, we, no. the, there, uh, <laughs> this episode does have captions on it on YouTube now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this is also from the previous episode, as you can see. Bip. <laughs> but also, <laughs> yeah, had to once again recreate the wings and uh, also just kind of mess with her her eye line so it looked like she was kind of glaring at uh, Leafa instead of just generally looking forward. Nice. Pretty simple fair. Horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can take your eyes away. So yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> and then once I took all these uh, layers back into Premiere, I nested those so that I could just kind of slowly zoom it. Because one of the one of the things uh, to get a little bit technical is when you want to apply mo like the same motion to a lot of frames at the same time in the same way mm -hmm. doing that individually would be a nightmare so it makes the most oh, sense oh. to nest, it. nest them so that you can yeah. treat all of those frames as or all of those clips as a single clip so then mm -hmm. all you have to do is scale keyframe bet 100 percent 105 percent and then you just get a nice little ominous um, slow zoom. Oh, and I apparently also darkened the background for yeah. effects. <laughs> Any further delays due to your yeah, tomfoolery. Yeah. It's true. Also, we're, we're working on the captions for 16, don't worry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Should hopefully be done soon. Yeah. Hey. There shall be a reckoning! I know this really isn't the time, but I just noticed when you get mad, you kind of sound like a teeny tiny prospector. <sighs> eh, that's probably for the best. We're all exhausted. We we'll want to be at our freshest if we're going to take this thing on. Plus, kind of seems like we might want to give it a sec to air itself out. My pinwheel! Hi, Spencer. <laughs> it's not Spencer. What? It's not. It's Jesse. No, that's, that that's Mez. Is it? It sounds like Jesse. <gasps> oh, we're all wrong. Mez, you talented bitch. <laughs> you I mean, vocal chameleon. It's, it's I, li I like that you say. I like that you say all when one of us clearly has to be correct. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I mean, we're all wrong, including you, Izzy. <laughs> Dude, like, Izzy, I need you to check <laughs> check the audio and see if you're wrong. It's it's just I'm, def I'm <laughs> definitely <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> Let's see where is? I'm just so used to Spencer playing half the cast. It's true. Yeah, dude, I thought that was Jesse. It sounds so much like I can Jesse and Okala. No, I don't. Wild. Jesse's not in this episode. Damn. Surprising. We normally snake him when he's doing stuff for Logan. And we're like, you want to just jump in the booth real quick? Maybe be some extras, you talented bitch. Yeah, man, like, this is the pinwheel man and one of the statues. I knew one of the statues, because it's him and Eagle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. But yeah, this is basically the same shot from earlier, but with a bunch of added smoke and shit like that. Because, of yeah, course. you know. To show the city descending into chaos because how dare you take away their drug effects. Mm hmm. So yeah, mostly just a lot of masking and placing things correctly. Oh. Yeah, I remember this you know, bit. Say, that's gotta be being, harder, yeah. This bit being a little bit more of a pain in the ass because the background is so, like, hazy and indistinct. It's hard to know, mm. like, how feathered this mask should be. Oh... So that the pinwheel can uh, pass behind it. And it's not very perfect. nice. Like, it's good, though. Like it's you good. Can, like, you can see there's a bit of a, like, a darker outline around Yeah, when it. you're zooming in 400%. <laughs> like, you shouldn't be able to see it at all. Oh, my God. <laughs> I fail. Look at this lazy work. Oh Shut God. the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> I'm sickened. It's fucking amateur hour over here. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> but no, absolutely. Like you, <laughs> you, you got to keep in mind what your audience is actually likely to be able to see, so yeah. that you don't make it like, like you're not making it so that people are looking at it under a microscope. Yeah. Yeah. Side note: I, I still just love that the whole joke is this game, a children's educational game, mm-hmm. had a "say no to drugs" campaign that was so ill-advised. They had to revise it because they realized they'd given all the drugs really beneficial effects. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, like when we were breaking it down, because it's a whole thing of we, we watch the episode, we look at the footage, and we like note like what happens and all that kind of stuff. So it was a whole thing of, okay, so they're going to get to the place they wanted to get to, and then they're going to log out of the game. Why are they logging out of the game? And then we like build from that, and somehow we got to. Say no to drugs. <laughs> All these meth heads are gonna tip over a pinwheel. <laughs> like fucking. Why <laughs> does this game need to have uh, yeah. an update? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it's like it might be funny to have like the players like rioting because they're mad about the patch notes. Like that's a pretty mm-hmm. common common thing. Like gay thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then somehow, like, all right, it's a kid's game, so like maybe they had some kind of event going on. But like mm-hmm. everything they put in this game is so terrible. It's awful because it's a terrible kids game. Yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah, they yeah. they wanted to have like a say no to drugs thing where they were teaching kids about drugs. But like I guess somebody along the line was like, okay, but what if what if we gave them like, you know, like a like a physical example. Like we ha- we have like samples so that they can try it in the mm-hmm. game where it's safe so that they won't want to try it in real life. You know, like it'll, it'll it'll scare them off. Like it'll, it'll get the curiosity out of their system, but then they'll be like, "No, nah, this is fucked up. I don't actually want to ever do that." <laughs> but then somebody was like, "What if we also gave it super beneficial stats that would make <laughs> like, them definitely <laughs> want to do all the drugs?" <laughs> oh goddamn! It's a serious lack of communication in this team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my god. God damn. Anywho. Okay. Morning, Sugu. Hello. Morning, Cumstead. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was I was a little worried about um this this shot before I started. Because mm-hmm. of, you know, the fog coming out of his mouth. Yep. <sighs> but That's I got understandable. I got very lucky because the you know his breath uh, fog is separated yeah. enough from his mouth, like it's not overlapping with his mouth. So it was very oh. easy to just mask it out. Oh, that's beautiful. All oh, well done. Oh. Very nice. It was, it was, I was very grateful for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and again, again, if this is your first postmortem, I can. You want to just explain real quick, lip flapping? Oh yeah, sure. It's um, very basic. Yeah. So. We're, we, uh, when we make this, we're not like dubbing over it. Like, we're not taking the existing mouth movements and writing dialogue that fits that. We're going uh, in frame process. by frame. <laughs> yeah. We're going in frame by frame, cutting out the mouths. Uh, there's usually like a fully open, a half open, a, and a fully closed flap. Yeah, because that's how anime do. Mm, like, I have color coded them to make it a little clearer. Like, I usually put the. Um, closed flap at the bottom and color code it green. Make the half open purple, fully open uh, mango color. The Excuse bottom me. one is Caribbean to be supposed to figure that. You are correct. Oh it is yeah, Caribbean. we use the same color code, so I fucking know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, take an example here. Uh, anytime a character talks, I basically have to go in and make a little mask around it like that so that uh, we can <laughs> make them say the words that we want them to say and make it look as natural Morning, as possible. Mm-hmm. And there you go. Yeah. Perfect. It's the most basic and Morning most fucking comes, shit we gotta yeah, do. Hey there, Shakespeare. <laughs> Save your aim material. Got the whole day ahead of you. The scenes each mm-hmm. time yeah. you do that. Yep. Even this shot is like has a bunch of masking going on because Kirito and Suguha 
move through their animation cycles uh, at different times than in the original to make it, you know, time up with our dialogue a little bit better. So have to have to cut out Kirito, have to cut out Suga. Oh, not the whole day ahead of you. <laughs> Mm. Retrospector. Leave I've watched a out. minute of episode Leave twelve and Sukaha is a mean That's character. The plan. Wonder why. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Wonder what's wonder what's going on there. <laughs> Whoa. What a what a bitch. I'm sure there's what, nothing deeper right? or more interesting happening with that character. I'm sure she's just a bitch. <laughs> like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this shot cr <laughs> this shot like oh. refused to cooperate most of the time. Oh no, what happened? Um, it got better after I decided to nest the entire thing. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah. It's uh this is just the shot where uh where Suga is remembering the uh, previous episode with uh with Yui going like nothing nothing can move forward unless one of you takes the first step and her just kinda yeah. thinking like, ah shit, she she, she might actually have a point there. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Damn it. Yeah. So, I wanted to make it clear that it was going into her head. So, yeah. yeah. Cut her out of the background, cut out her eyes so that I could kind of move them around. Make her move to the side like she's kind of thinking about stuff. Also, uh, having her cut out of the background made it so that I could blur it independently and darken it. Kind of make it so that the focus was all on her like she was receding into her own little world. And then also making some some new eyes for her so that she looks freaked out when uh, when Huey starts talking like as if she is right there instead of a memory. Mm -hmm. it's so stupid. It's very dumb. It's like, what is what is happening there? Yeah, is she going like, crazy? Is Huey that powerful? She's in her head. Or Suga crazy. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll never tell. We'll until never it's, tell. You know, beneficial uh, to the story, I guess. Yeah, and yeah. Then I just nested all of those frames together so that I could do another kind of zoom, <laughs> and then a quick zoom back out once uh when she hears uh, Yui. He's like, wait, what? Yeah. It's so good. God damn. Uh, the hospital, you say? <laughs> you know. I just had an idea. I'm just Whoa, remembering, you want to like, us, like when we were writing, because we were super like, because we knew that the entire season was like building to like the end of this episode, and I remember I was just being like, we need the gradual progression of like her trying to reach out to her brother mm -hmm. and being so like careful throughout like <laughs> these kind of scenes and whatnot to be like, okay, she's still going to be an asshole, and Kirito going to be a bigger asshole because he doesn't get what she's doing yeah but but we need her to be like kind of trying like a little and trying to be really careful about it so it didn't fucking come out of nowhere like oh mm. oh the whole time very very specific rating this episode oh yeah being very careful mm -hmm. don't want things to move too quickly but still want them to, to move forward <laughs> And make sense, but also still be funny, because that's primarily our thing. We like we like telling this emotional story, but it's like we're in a bit serious. We're supposed to be funny. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, the 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 jokes are what make you invest in the characters and the emotional stuff. It's the nice little gut punches to you know keep you on your toes. Hey. Plus, you know, <laughs> we like hurting people. Me, 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 me. Yeah, and the unexpected, like, serious moments make the characters feel more real, so it makes the funny stuff hit harder. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is, yeah, just another mask for the breaths, which, thankfully, pretty much all of the breaths in this scene were separated enough that I could make a really simple mask to deal with them, and I'm so thankful for that. Uh, Whoa! You want yeah, to sit it down? A, it could have been a bad fucking time. The original animation studio could have been real bitches <laughs> about this. <laughs> Did a lot of face editing on this one. Because <laughs> well, she's such a different character in the original like series. Like, yeah, this is such a like sweet, you know, quiet moment between siblings in the original, and this is. We just had to add in so much tension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of like us writing this with you and just being like, 
Well, if you're sure you can make this work, Izzy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like, and I was like, writing it and being like, she's reaching out, but he wouldn't trust that. And that's just going to make her angry and not want to keep reaching out. <laughs> like, it was a whole fucking thing, man. It's like, yeah, based on their history, he would find that yeah. deeply suspicious. Uh-huh. <laughs> see here. Yeah, I think this was... This was what that originally looked like. <laughs> okay, eyebrows just go on. Yeah. Oh, and there go her eyes! Oh, my God! <laughs> All right, I just saw King Night Owl's comment. Better tension than the other thing. Tension? <laughs> the what? very different tension. <laughs> Here we go. The bap. This yeah, afternoon, uh, finally get a good look at this sister-in-law I've heard oh so much about. And why would you want to do that? What? Can't a sister be there for her brother in his time of need? Wait, wait, wait. You're my sister? Oh, shit. This whole time, I thought you were some feral possum mom brought home. This changes everything. Listen, <laughs> I'm just trying dick. to be nice here. <laughs> if you want to be a little asshole about it, you it's go right ahead. Those, like, men when we're like writing to go, it's like, okay. So she's, she's reaching out and she's kind of being sweet, being like, hey, can I like spend time with you? And he's having none of it. So he's in yeah, this, full asshole mode and saying, yeah. He's been, he has been trained <laughs> to be suspicious of everything she's saying. And so this mm -hmm. is just a moment of, at best, this is a vulner, this is like a moment of vulnerability I can like get back at her at, you know? Mm -hmm. And worse, this is a trap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I do love this also, this audio. This is this is a great way to end this scene. Yeah. Also, Sniper Dolphin. Yeah. Hecken, uh, the actress for Sugaha is the very talented Lennon Drake. Hecken, she did outstanding work in this episode, especially like she always she's always very good. But oh my god, oh she's, my god, she's she's always very good. <laughs> I just <laughs> I always love the way we'll be surprised going into sessions. Like you'll see if you're on Patreon or blooper reel. Mm. Uh, there was a very simple line of dialogue she couldn't get. She she just couldn't get the pronunciation. Yeah, which versus... happens to all of us, man. <laughs> like, yeah. it's sometimes no, that's just how it do. It was just so weird mm. that it was that one particular word in that one line, and mm. it just didn't happen. Versus mm. this super emotionally complicated ending that she yeah. just fucking nails. Like, and we were really worried about it, because we were like, this is, like, a lot to, like, a lot, ask a for from an actor. And, like, we... It's like the big emotional payoff and like sometimes we're super happy to be like, oh yeah, like you can ad lib or like you can have like a read that like you want to have on your own, but like maybe try to do it the way that we like wrote it. And like, but this one, it was like, it needs to be the way we wrote it. And we were super mm -hmm. worried that she was going to be like exhausted after doing it or like, cause it's a, it's really long too. So it's like trying to do it and then maybe fumbling a bit and stuff like that. Like it can easily happen. But she fucking, oh my god. She just, like, <laughs> went through it and, like, nailed it. And we were like, oh my god. And contrast like, that holy with... holy shit. And again, contrast that with that blooper where it's just that one particular word. We're like, <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. Listen to us. We'll say it. You just say what we're saying back to you. No, that's not what we said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it was just that for, like, an hour. <laughs> Versus, again... Fucking nailing this super complicated scene. It's just, mm -hmm. you, you know, it's, oh. uh, it's not, and it's not even like a just her thing. It's just, you know, you could get ready for lot. weird surprises with, uh, with casting and recording. You know, there's, yeah. you'll, you'll be surprised at the shit that'll give you difficulty and the shit that you'll just breeze through. Dude, like, fuck it. We'll write shit and we'll be like, okay, that'll be so easy to do. And then we'll fumble it so much and we fucking roll it. It's so, it's so difficult. Like, oh my god. This, this didn't sound like a tongue twister when we wrote it. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like, fuck these writers when you're in the booth. Like, fuck past me. God. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are you doing, past me? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. um, no, there's not blooper reel for 17 just yet. This is an earlier it's blooper very reel. Yeah. It's very close. Very close. Well, well. I can't well. remember which episode that so, is. Uh... 
So the fair been port. early in the season. Yeah, that would have been for the fair port. So I think that's the fourteen. Would that have been the fair port? I thought that would have been earlier in the story. Hmm? Yeah, like outside outside the fair port, I guess. Because well, that would have been the first this? time that she had to say fair port. And I think that's fourteen, right? Is it? Was that the situation uh, where she had to say learned? Oh no, I'm talking about Fairport. <laughs> no, no, learned, learned's later, right? No, fuck, I can't remember our own stuff. <laughs> right, a lot of it. Yeah, it's true. All Fairport's fifteen. Thank you, Doctor Professor Patrick. Look at you go. But it turns out that's not the one we're talking about. Me. Oh, anywho, moving on. Fair. Well, well. So this is where Sugo's been keeping everybody. Cheese and crackers. Do you really need a torture terminal for every brain? That's so inefficient. Just cram them all into one. You'd have room for like a nice koi pond, maybe a garden. Yeah, something else got messed up here. Oh no. Yeah, some. Some um, stuff just got <laughs> moved around somehow. Man, oh, no. by like a frame. Oh uh, fuck. Weird. That do happen. Also, okay, Captain Kojo has a question. <laughs> so, have you ever been writing, and while you're writing, you reread what you wrote, and uh, and be like, I can't say that shit. That word's gonna fuck me up, and I know it. Uh, at least for me, I'm like, I'm gonna struggle. That's gonna take a minute. <laughs> like, I'm never gonna rewrite something just because I'm gonna struggle with it kind of thing. Like, how about y'all? I can't think of anything specific. I, I do I do know you have certain words that we're not putting in scripts. Eh. For some reason, you just don't like the word clung. Stop it! It's gross and I hate it! <laughs> I will quit if we ever put it in a script. I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's such a lovely word. <laughs> Plunge. Stop! You're gonna get us banned or demonetized. <laughs> Oh, please, that, that ship has sailed. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Just an excuse. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what's going on with this one. Yeah, I think I just masked these, uh, these little labels here so that I could loop them. A nice koi pond? Maybe a go- <laughs> Oh, yeah, and if you listen in the, the background, well, <laughs> well uh, Austin's going over the stuff. You just hear uh, the the screams of the damned. Oh of yeah. Saw that real quick. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's nice and quiet and subtle in the background. Perfect. Her priorities are in the right place. Go on this. <laughs> okay. Golly, I'd be so much better at crime. All right. The I might stop screen sharing. See if I yep. can. Because the, uh, the audio is pretty messed up. Yeah, it's doing a little kind of glitchy thing. Let me see if that helps at all. <gasps> all right. The glitch was coming from this terminal, right? Yeah, that's the one. Hey, man, I've been thinking. You ever wonder why we're slug people? How do you mean? I mean, literally everyone else in this game is a beautiful, majestic fairy, but we're a couple of sacks of Yeah, this was, uh, this was a slightly <laughs> tricky one. <laughs> Just because very much kind of, kind of limited by, uh, by the animation, because want them, uh, want them to be talking to each other for, like, a, a certain length of time. But this whole brain effect that we got going on is, uh, well, it's semi-transparent, it's not loopable, and the guys are kind of squelching around in the background. So pretty much like, okay, I can't make this any longer than it is. And yeah, the editing you have to do is just to retime the mouthing, you know, the mouth movements, but you can't make it any longer. Mm hmm yeah, thankfully. Thankfully, once I nailed down how long this shot needed to be, it was pretty okay. Like, I needed to slow it down, but only, like, to 97%. Mm-hmm. 
just needed it to be a little bit longer. And thankfully, that doesn't seem to have impacted the speed of the animation in a noticeable way. It's a beautiful, majestic fairy, but we're a couple of sacks of pus and tentacles. Gee, I don't know, man. Trish is the modeler. You ever think it's because you... Uh, Kale lore? Lore? Mm. Serious talk for a moment. Massive props to you guys for finding a legit way to incorporate the scene rather than skipping it all together. I mean, the thing about it is that it's, it's kind of an important thing for the plot. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Cause like, it's a, it's a, it's a crucial Austin, scene for multiple reasons. Yeah. yeah. Cause like Asuna only has the key card that lets them get into the lair because of this scene. Mm -hmm. So if we cut this, then there will be no explanation for why she just suddenly has a key card. <laughs> Also, yeah. if we cut this, it would be she escapes and then was immediately recaptured. Whereas this at least gives Asuna some agency. This gives her something to do in the story and have an impact. Yeah. You know, as mm -hmm. opposed to just she's running around super ineffectually, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, this is the time she's decided to do something. She's been able to escape this entire time. <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. She's yeah. been distracted by her insatiable bloodlust. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gee, I hardly see how that's relevant. We we put so much work into like giving our characters like human relatable flaws, and then there's <laughs> Asuna. I know. Or we just <laughs> made her carry. How dare you? I would never eat a dog. <laughs> <laughs> but you might like, threaten it. I, I might throw it in you know. <laughs> Asuna is a fucking lunatic, and I hope nobody <laughs> relates to her in any kind of specific way. <laughs> Taking this bit so funny about it is that y'all were like, man, she gets to do fucking nothing <laughs> in Alfheim, <laughs> and we want her to be able to do something. Like, that's like one of the goals overall for the season. <laughs> it's like she's a fucking maniac. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's just tormenting people. The we we uh, time. <laughs> we see a you know it, it, you had an argument could be made that maybe we overcorrected. What ridiculous! <laughs> 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 she's perfect, and I won't hear anything else. <laughs> uh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was very fun giving Asuna more to do. Like, mm -hmm. obviously, couldn't go like too far because we, we still need to work within the footage. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was it, it was fun. Like, at least letting Asuna have some fun, even yeah. if she's not like single handedly escaping. Oh, it makes me happy when she gets to do stuff, man. Because yeah, mm -hmm. um, do we want to take a moment to talk about fucking the shoji like like this whole sequence as like oh. writing wise oh my god i just because i mean i'm looking at the the stream so heckin izzy's currently looking at the bus scene so we can talk about that and we can talk about the show the full shoji scene like once we get there gotcha hey oh uh, yeah izzy, uh, uh, how, how did you do this because i know this was some very specific timing and retiming because of the bus stuff fucking windows <laughs> Yeah, this was an interesting one, because, like, thankfully the bus isn't moving the entire scene, so kind of had to make a choice of, like, okay, at some point the bus needs to start, so when would be the most appropriate time for that to happen that's not going to mm -hmm. kind of fuck me over? So, like, yeah. kind of figuring out, like, okay, I want to delay the bus starting up for as long as I can to make things easier on myself, <laughs> but, like... Shot like this, this is pretty easy. Like, it's basically, like, just masking the mouths. <laughs> Nothing crazy there, because the bus has not started. Um, I think... Yeah, I think this shot might have been from later. But I can't remember. And probably not if it's the shot of her sitting down. Uh, not this one. The one, uh... The one after this close up of Sugaha where she's like moving oh, her eyes. I see, I've got the uh, eye edit here. I think this might have come a little bit later. And I just kind of froze it and cut it up so that I could make her eyes move and such. Please 
stop pausing before you say it. Fine, like fine, you're right. So like... Starts up. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, what was that? I couldn't hear you. I love I love the movement you have for like the bus starting up. Like you can mm -hmm. really you can you can see when it stops being the freeze frame. Oh yeah. It, just, it feels it feels very natural. It's it's very good. Yeah, I think I think a lot of these shots are actually just freeze frames from later on when the bus is moving to make it easier. That's very smart. Which it's really nice that the windows are so like the lighting is so blown out. To, mm -hmm. to make it easier to get away with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like you could otherwise, I think you'd be dealing with some real continuity problems yeah, with that like, trick. Like, oh my god! <laughs> Let's analyze this a little bit here. So, like, yeah, there is. I guess there's a little bit going on where there's just suddenly a, a thicker tree there. Don't worry about. It. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's very much a acceptable losses kind of thing. Yeah, it's, so not, it's not Game of Thrones with the Starbucks cup suddenly appearing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I'm just yeah. trying to fucking... <sighs> yeah, so this is where I chose, like, okay, yeah, let's, let's do it here. This will be where the, the bus starts up. And I start having to uh, kind of add some... Uh, I need to start uh, motion tracking the mouths because there's the subtle rumble of the bus. I mean, like... How did you fall in love? Eh, you know. It's just them sitting talking, but it's so complicated. Like, look at all the layers. Jesus, fuck. Oh. Yeah, freaking. I'll point out a little kind of mis- Well, not mistake, just something I was unable to reasonably fix. Was yeah. that uh, because this is another shot in profile where yeah. obviously a large chunk of his face is going to move, not just his lips. Yeah. And also because, you know, moving background, that is also, you know, got some transparency going on. It's like, there's very little I can do, but you can see that Kirito was originally talking here because his oh. upper lip is bouncing around. Oh, yeah, it's going around, yeah. <laughs> but because I mean, because, but because the bus is moving and yeah. the background's moving, it's not as noticeable. What are you yeah. doing? Oh my god, you're like pulling down your pants and like, whatever, everybody. What are you doing? <laughs> like, don't show oh. them this shit. Because like, <laughs> you can see that, like, the, the lip is bouncing around. But because he's got his uh, fist up by his face, uh, I can I can mask that. So I was able to stop the rest of his jaw from moving so that the entire thing was a lot less noticeable. But there was, there was that line I had to draw of like, okay, I can fix this part of it. But the upper lip, I'm just gonna have to hope that no one really notices. Until I point it out. Until you fucking point it out to like 300 people, is it? I believe in honesty. I'm not magic. Sometimes <laughs> compromises have to be made. I'm proud of you for making compromises because there was also a time when you wouldn't have done that. You would have worked yourself to death to try to fix it. Fuck, if I could even conceive of a way to fix it beyond cutting out the entire background and recreating it, mm -hmm. then maybe, but- You say just... that like you wouldn't have done that in the past. Mm -hmm. I, I would consider it based on the shot, but I don't think it makes Aww. a lot of sense for Aww. this one. Proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hi. That's... So someone was asking why the audio was all glitchy. That's because it's Izzy not playing the episode, it's him dragging through it to show you like minute details yeah this premiere is a very taxing program on a computer and i'm also streaming at the same time mm -hmm. so there aren't a lot of resources to go around so it's kind of chugging yeah it's doing its best yeah me and Matt can't even watch anymore because you're worth screen sharing he's <laughs> dry stream, so our that's just the plot of tough. the lake house <laughs> which i'm not sure if it's actually making much of a difference Okay, give it back. <laughs> Fine, maybe I will. Damn right. <laughs> oh, thank you for the rave, little sharky. Preach. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hop. Hop. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I enjoyed this bit of like a Kirito. 
going off and just explaining like the murder mystery episodes. Like, yeah. Wow, that sounds absolutely ludicrous when you just spell it out like that. But it is what happened. Indeed. I also, <laughs> and then fucking. I also love... yeah, go for it. Sorry. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then just having like the little bit of kind of familial connection with uh with Suguha also making the joke of like yeah this is just the part of this but mm-hmm. she's a lot dumber than Kirito so she thinks it's the part of the lake house even though what version of the lake house did you watch where that even kind of sounds like it yeah that dude sorry go yeah, that's that yeah like Kirito would reference the actual movie whereas I feel like. I'm not sure if this was intentional during writing. Mm-hmm. I do feel like looking back on it, this is very much us riffing on that ending bit from not another teen movie. Oh, oh yeah. That's yeah. just from the karate kid and Chris Evans yeah, just like, looks super uh, confused. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> no. what he said is in no way something that could have ever been said in the karate kid. <laughs> no, I think it's a whole thing of us wanting them to have things in common, like their love mm-hmm. of movies, but she is She's stupid. And also, she has very different taste in movies than For Kirito. sure. <laughs> Pretty much all yeah. of the movies that she remembers are, like, rom-coms. Mm-hmm. That is one of my favorite things that we get to do, is have them have, like, the similarities. Like, how you can see that they do actually, like, love each other or love certain, like, fucking things that they do. Like, how fucking Kirito has it, like, For you see! And then, like, Lifa had the fucking, For you see! It's like they they're similar. They do the same kind of shit. They're friends. Or at least they used to be. Like it's it makes me really happy to do cute sibling shit like that. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Oh. I, oh. I, I've never even seen the lake house, so it was extra funny to me to just have a character state with utter <laughs> confidence that that is definitely the plot of the lake house. I think I've seen it once and I remember nothing about it. I remember the poster for that movie because there was a big push for it at the time, and that's yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah I... Also, I'm a big fan of Speed, and I remember mm-hmm. a lot of people being like, oh, look, it's Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock for the first time since Speed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, oh. I definitely also have not seen the lake house. I just feel very mm-hmm. confident that none of that happens in the lake house. Yeah, right? No fucking way. <laughs> basically just came down to, like, what's a funny sounding title that definitely bunch- does not apply? Like, we, we had a bunch, a bunch of movies. them, yeah. Yeah, fuck, let me find it. It's like, that's just the plot if you got mail, or that's just the plot <laughs> yes! of Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> yeah, we had so many. Well, yeah, and we just kept trying out the line during scripting. We were mm-hmm. just we had a session where we were just like reading that line back with you know, like half a dozen different movies and just like which of these is the funniest to mm-hmm. us at least. <laughs> For some reason the lake house just rolled off the tongue in a very amusing way. Mhm. It's definitely yeah. it, I feel like the lake house is definitely nowhere near the most famous of the options we came up with. Yeah, but for sure. It was just no. there's something about it that worked for us. <laughs> That's just the plot of Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm looking through. Hey, I feel like that this looks oh, discounted. Those are options. That's just a, the plot of Pretty in Pink slash <laughs> You've Got Mail slash Sleepless in Seattle slash The Lake House. <laughs> <laughs> I do I do think we might have talked about Ghost at one point and I think we opted against it because it you know it was you know too it was like too actually a little similar to that of like you know, like oh yeah there's ghosts involved in that and we're like no 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 we want this to be as wrong as possible. <laughs> yeah, like there's no way. <laughs> God. Can I make it? I explicitly told you I didn't want any part of your treasure beef, man! And now look at me! Well, excuse me for expecting my bro to have my back! She has special dietary needs, dude! It's medicated! That's the best part! It really brings out the raspberry! So this whole fucking thing. Yeah, let's let's take a let's take a moment to talk about these this fucking duo. God damn, these fucking <laughs> guys. I, I, lo- I love their double act. It's so funny. And I just, I remember us being like, okay, so Shoji's the fucking worst, but we don't want him to be the worst like he is in canon because, uh, 
We, we want a yeah. different kind of him being the worst. Mm -hmm. How can he be awful? <laughs> like well, the, the um before we before we settled on making him the world's worst like coworker. Yeah. yeah. And initially the first joke was like Izzy and I pitched for the longest time of you know back and forth just why are they slug people? Why are they the only that, yep. not beautiful fairy people in this entire game? And mm -hmm. you know originally originally you didn't we didn't talk about the other coworkers. The joke we were pitching around was like like Shoji getting paranoid of like this is like some weird passive aggressive message that like Sugo is putting on them. Um, yeah. You know, I remember that. Yeah. Is the boss trying to tell me something? Like, I don't know. We work really hard. And, yeah. You know, hey, no, he respects us. Why did he do this to us then? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that you kind know? of vibe. Yeah, it was it was mm -hmm. more about like Sugo is the worst boss. Yeah. And I don't know at what point we opted to instead go from Sugo's the worst boss, instead go to Shoji's the worst coworker. Yeah. I I don't think it I don't think it was like a decision. I think it was just we were riffing a lot and it happened naturally. Yeah. <laughs> we're like just I think we just started with the idea of like it there's always just something really funny about people who work for supervillains having really mundane conversations. Like they just yeah. work at like a like a regular office. Yeah, like, there's just something never... funny about that disconnect. Like, right? When you know, whenever you're watching a James Bond movie, you never picture like the fucking guy that has to like f fix the photocopier in Blofeld's office. Mm -hmm. Like that's something you never see, but that has to be a guy. There has to be someone in that massive Spectre terrorist organization whose job is to like check the phone lines and mm -hmm. like just sweep up after hours. My like, oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's always yeah, fun. I feel like this was like a lot of riffing, like a yeah. lot of us just having back and forths and bouncing off of each other. I mean, I know of a couple that really I fucking know. devastated each other. Yep. I, rem <laughs> I'm, I remember us like riffing about like the medication and stuff like that. And I think it, I think it was Izzy who said like the fucking really brings out, uh, uh, really brings out the flavor of the raspberries. <laughs> I can't remember. I think so. I have some vague recollection of, like, she has special yeah. dietary needs, dude. It's medicated. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> like... Really brings out the raspberry. Yeah, uh -huh. it, it, that's definitely one of, again, riffing. That's definitely a case of one of us said it's medicated and the other per and someone else added in, but that's the best part. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's such a team effort. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Oh, we'll get to that bit in, uh, when we get yeah. to it. Interesting title. We've got some fun yeah, stories. Yeah, I got time. Fucking cake. Please. Oh my oh, god, the, the cake. Gosh, just let me open cake. this menu! That's a very yes! good callback. Okay, let's yeah. see. I'm Log up button. Log yeah, this isn't button. a case of this is the first time Austin's opened a menu. This is a case of, for the love of God, I don't want this to be a problem again, because this has been such a problem in the past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Frickin' yeah, this doesn't look like an effect shot, but it's an effect shot. Uh huh. Because <laughs> I think I needed to replace some of the uh, some of the text. Yeah, there's um, I'm not sure about this menu. I know there were a bunch of menus that had like a lot of Japanese that you need to replace because mm -hmm. I remember. I remember nearing the end of the edit, I totally missed it. Um, I think it was, I think you showed it to Brian and he caught that one of the shots didn't have the buttons changed over and they were all still in Japanese. No, no, I, I, I caught stuff. Mm. Yeah. I just, I remember late in the game, there was like one shot that didn't have those changes and that need to be like, oh shit. And we were like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's the bottom button there. The one that says subjects in the original, yeah. uh, that says help desk. But in order for oh, the right. joke to work, the help desk needed to be in a separate menu. So it's like, <clears> why would that be there and there? It felt like that just needed to be changed. But, and which is ironic, because us seeing that help desk button is absolutely what inspired the joke. It comes later. Again, 
That's you don't, interesting. You don't think about, like, just, Ernst Stavro Blofeld's technical department. Feels like you're always looking for reasons to antagonize her, you know? Well, can you blame me? She just rolls in here every day, up on her high horse. Dude, it's called a wheelchair! I just one of the very so, few jokes that we can be like around. that is one hundred percent a single person. Uh, and it's like that one like, <laughs> like yeah, I'm very I'm very yeah. proud of that and I always, I have a very clear memory of mm -hmm. pitching that joke because we were trying to think of something for that cutaway shot because we yeah. need to cut <laughs> back to them for story reasons. Mm -hmm. Don't you mind what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Um and the um I remember pitching that. It just comes up here in her high horse. It's called a wheelchair. I remember you specifically, Carrie. I remember you doubling over, just like so fucking funny. shotgun blast. You were not expecting the wheelchair. Like, dude, I think. And again, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure, like, I was just like giggling at the entire fucking thing and i think easy said like she just comes in here on her high horse and then i was fucking already laughing and then you came up with the, it's called a wheelchair and then i couldn't fucking breathe <laughs> like, i was just dying <laughs> like one of those like we can write it down <laughs> like, <fucking laughs> kind of thing. like oh that, that sounds that sounds plausible. I do. I yeah. I don't remember Izzy pitching the 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 high horse bit, but yeah, I also would be surprised. Mm -hmm. I I just remember for sure no, bringing the wheelchair out the part wheelchair and really that up. just dropping you. Oh my god! It's so <laughs> fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that Spencer's favorite thing. He's told you that. He quotes it all the fucking time. <laughs> He's like, dude, out of context, you need to, you need to be careful with it. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, fuck it. Look at this goddamn impressive ass work that is doing. Jesus Christ. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think this one was entirely in Japanese, and I needed to. Oh. Erase the original text and uh yeah and uh replace it. Let me see here. God damn. Yeah, there we go. Where are the originals? Yeah, originally it looked so like much, that. So much work put into this, Jesus fucking Christ. It was tricky to try and delete oh. the uh, the text because there's you know the gradient background. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, Content Aware Phil is a very good tool, <laughs> so most God. of the time he can fill that in pretty easily. Nice. Heckin, one of the visual jokes I put in there that isn't super uh, obvious, and I. I, w I wish it was a little more obvious. The uh, the top button as it's <laughs> scrolling. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Oh, God, I never oh, noticed that. Oh, yeah, Sugo's Playroom. Yeah, I remember you showing me that. Yeah. Oh, I, that's the first time I've seen that. That's, that's oh. wonderful. Gross. Oh. Yeah, gross, Sugo. You're so gross. And then, yeah, this one was a lot of just cutting out Asuna's finger frame by frame. And then having her click the correct button. Mm -hmm. I, I was making I've, sure to try and place it just so, so that, like, it's plausible that she was aiming for the logo button. Out. Mm -hmm. But she just nicked the yeah. help desk. I've <laughs> never heard this phrase before. I like someone who's, it's, it's like, oh, I, you know, it's so great that Asuna fat fingered the log out button. Oh, oh heard that, yeah. I haven't heard that. Hell no, yeah. but I love that. It's such a. It's like you say that. I'm like, yeah, no, that's exactly what you refer to that as. That yep. feels right. <laughs> no, that's correct. Yep. Did you make that whole thing, Izzy, with the call? Yeah. Popping up. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> needed a needed a call screen to pop up. Mm -hmm. uh. Hello, tech support. What do you want? <laughs> Sorry uh, to pause. bother you. I, I, I think I hit the wrong button. Yeah, when it when it chugs, it doesn't want to fucking pause. Yeah, I think this this might have been the shot I was talking about 
earlier where you had like the tech support guy but mm. the stuff behind him was still in Japanese. I think that was the shot that was like at the last minute someone was like, "Hey, isn't that supposed oh. to be English?" And I was like, no, oh, no, shit. I know what you're talking about, but I caught that." Oh, okay. You, is what I was saying. Okay. Well done. Oh, I, okay, I just remember seeing that like you sent it with like Yo, hey guys, you put down your notes on the time. I remember someone put down the notes of like, fuck, that needs to be fixed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was probably easy, honestly. <laughs> Being like, ah, I noticed it. I need to fucking fix it. <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah. noticing that. Like, ah, oh, fuck, I thought I got them all. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. I, uh, again, it was one of those things of, how the fuck did, uh, did, you know, like, did I miss that? And I only saw it because, you know, again. You're uh, you're saying it's you. I didn't I didn't remember who. I just remember someone put that note down in the in the fucking uh, the yeah. timeline, and it was just like, oh my god, you're right. How the fuck? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. dude, when you're looking at something for a really really long time, it's super easy for shit to just slip through the cracks, like for sure. Yeah. And that's that's why Izzy like shows it to so many people before, like fucking streaming mm -hmm. it and putting it on and YouTube them, and whatnot. Uh, extra eyes yeah. on there. Yeah, you mm -hmm. need it because once it's on YouTube, that's it forever. That's, that's the episode. It. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Okay, <laughs> remember that game. <laughs> remember deciding like just because of like that story that Chase told me about the freaking like a McDonald's drive-through worker who had this kind of same tone of voice named Sean who like hooked him up with a million ketchup packets. Like, oh yeah. yeah. It's like so I'm I'm calling him Sean on the screen is what's happening now. Like his name is Sean. The, I, I have to ask, what was the? Where did the decision come from for the image? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I just thought it would be r really funny. Like I, th I was like torn between two things. Like I was going to find either just like a really unenthusiastic, like just kind of like selfie of an anime character, but I couldn't find one that felt quite right. Uh, or doing the freaking like you know online thing of just. Having a deep voiced guy whose anime her whose uh, profile picture is a cute anime girl and just how in incongruous that is with just his general <laughs> vibe. Mm hmm yeah. Just sounds so miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome <laughs> face. What? She's you so happy. <laughs> Why would you even know you were so fired? <sighs> I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm gonna need to transfer your call. Please hold. I love reaction videos get so angry at Asna in that shot. Like, I've seen multiple reactors now who are just like, Bitch, hang up! <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> Shockingly doesn't handle pressure well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, the girl. It was another effect shot where, obviously, I uh, you know I replaced those uh, words and like added Sean's uh, call screen, but because the tentacle guys are showing up, yeah, there's a shadow also had to recreate here. the yeah. shadows as they passed over. Oh my God! It's so many small, complicated things. Oh. Uh, not the worst, but definitely something that's like, okay, this is, I gotta, I gotta plan this out and figure out what I need to do. Oof. How did you deal with it? Uh, thankfully, not super difficult. Basically just printing out, or, uh, yeah, just like, uh, saving whatever screenshots I needed, like that, and then, uh, kind of just painting over them, because, uh useful thing in photoshop you can set up another layer as a clipping mask to uh to one below it so whatever you paint on the top layer will not go outside the edges of the bottom layer and mm. since i'd already you know redrawn a lot of these buttons i could just kind of make a swath of uh basically just pure black with like the right kind of feathering on the edges reduce mm. the opacity so that it looks like it's at the same level and yeah there was pretty much it on like a per frame basis just need to make sure that uh the outlines kind of lined up hell yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, little shrugy wants to know was this worse than suga's cell phone <laughs> oh his bluetooth earpiece 
no, no, no like and sugahas, like when it said nutter butter. Oh mm. no, the 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 cell phone was way worse. Yeah, <laughs> the cell phone was so complicated that I think if I went back and looked at the After Effects file now, I would struggle to deconstruct my own work. Yep. It's so yeah, many nests that within nests. It's like, yeah. why, why did I do this? Oh, right. Fuck. Yeah, that... I think. I think that's why I did that. Because Nutter Butter's funny is why I did that. <laughs> yep. It's... No regrets. So, mu so much work for such a small joke. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I love that. That's, that's what makes me feel accomplished. Mm-hmm. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Just want you to know before we go in, security can be here within 15 seconds. What the hell do you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> I have no idea, and that's what scares me. Ugh. Will you just get in there? Fine, fine. Hey, honey. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'd like to introduce you to my sister, Suguha. No, no, don't get up. <laughs> that was I, definitely a carry joke. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. I was like, I remember that was me. <laughs> like, no, 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 don't, no, get, don't up. get up. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> fucking savage. <laughs> so well, that's going up. in the script. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, it makes me so happy. That is one of the absolute joys in writing when you're just like thinking out loud and you just say a stupid thing and then like everyone in the room starts laughing. It's like, let's fucking go, bitch. Hell yeah. Like, yes. sometimes, sometimes it's, it's joy. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it's joy. Horror. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the <laughs> same kind of laughing. <laughs> or sometimes, sometimes it's yesterday where it's two people yeah. laughing and one person groaning. Screaming no. <laughs> what <is it>? Don't <laughs> don't write that down. Don't make me write that down. I was gonna say the thing is we make you write it down. <laughs> that's that's my favorite part is Izzy is the one who's doing like the actual physical typing mm -hmm. and you're always the one who instantly regrets the shit that comes out of your mouth. So mm -hmm. you have to be the one that fucking puts your hubris into the script as we like, you know, watch over it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Wonderful. Add Excellent. that to the script. No. Do it. Do it. <laughs> and it's like it's never expected because most of the time it'll just be like, ignore me. I'm just thinking out loud and riffing. Like mm -hmm. we, we can't actually put that in. It would it would take way too long. Or that's that's stupid. Don't. <laughs> we We're like no that. no. It's happening. Write it down. <laughs> it just takes you off guard. It's like wait, that's the one you want to keep. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. This shot's pretty simple. It's lip flapping. Very nice, very nice. Thank God. For God's sake, she's in a coma, not deaf. Yeah, there's a little bit going on with that one. <laughs> Mostly just uh, moving Kirito's eyes so they're kind of glaring at her. Mm -hmm. I went to nice. has eyes too. Nice. I oh, also yeah. like the back and forth we did with writing this. Yeah. Where we, where we like we initially like the initial joke of just you know she's in a coma not deaf and then just that it, moment where we're like you know what even if she was deaf that's a shitty thing to do yeah right exactly and it's like yeah no Kirito will point that out yep for sure because mm. <laughs> it's not okay <laughs> like, in all possible situations you're being an asshole mm -hmm. god damn yeah. scenarios uh, this was definitely one of those shots I uh, farmed out to get someone else to draw them because had to had to get the uh, the jaw to move nice yeah need a little extra help there so, look i am trying to Ugh. okay fine let me try this again hi asana i've heard a lot about you spineless little parasites when i get out of here i'm gonna write my watching memoirs in your mother's blood if I recall correctly, mm. I think, I think I, uh, I had completely different music here. And then you I decided, did! I decided to put in that music as a joke, like just to amuse myself during work. And I'm like, hey, hey, Carrie, come, come, come take a look at this. What, what, what do you think of this? Like, you know, to make her laugh. And then I would change it back to the real thing. 
Because this is fucking boss fight music. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you convince me like, no, no, you keep that in. It's like, that's fucking perfect. Don't you dare use the other music. That's what we're using. Oh. It's like, fuck, yeah, the more I think about it, yeah, that's, the, that's funnier. It's, uh -huh. we sh I should use that. Yeah. So we, we had this whole sequence figured out from, like, the start of writing this arc. I'm so glad it's finally out and we can... We finally have our yeah. solution to this scene. Oh my god, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this was a slightly, yeah, this is a lot, yeah. This is a slightly like this one could have been trickier, but thankfully the cadence of your read matched up pretty well with her head bobs. Nice. Hell yeah. Mindless little parasites! I mean, this was one of those ones where I read it like once and was going like Full fucking yell, and you were like, "I I need to turn it down." Like, like, fuck, it's it's almost at zero, and she's still peeking out. <laughs> like, <is> fucking possible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I'm just so powerful. <laughs> you are. It's terrifying. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, working with with these guys, that was a whole time. Yeah, you. Which shots was it you had to, like, outsource? Because I know there's some stuff that you definitely needed to to get someone else to draw, just because it was impossible to work with. Let's see. This one looks like I just froze it and was able to use the existing lip flaps, which is surprising because his entire head moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just mastered his entire body. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that one, thankfully... Not super tough. That one's a far shot. Uh, let's see. I I had to draw a new mouth for that one. That mouth was already there. So nothing. Cra one of these shots was kind of a pain. This shot, uh, the the one you didn't have to edit in the middle there. The, mm. the close up of the eyes. Yeah. I really love the way you recontextualize that footage. Uh huh. <laughs> Such a great reimagining of like where to put that. Like, you know, in the original show, that's him reacting in pain to Asna biting him during the just weirdly unnecessarily sexual version of this scene. Mm -hmm. And I like you recontextualizing it as him like panicked screaming. Mm hmm. <laughs> It's always nice Very where, like, we can make good use of the original footage without having to kind of, like, bend over backwards to to make it do what we want. Well, mm -hmm. Especially when the animation, when it's, like, super expressive animation like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be able to make proper use of it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, this one, this one was pretty much as is. It's just lip flapping. You put it like get in there and feral growl and I just kept saying Why is that still so intimidating? She's just being a husky. What is this? Stupid. Oh, this one was just a matter of making Asna look like, you know, she was a serial killer rather than afraid. Yeah. Let me see. Oh. How, uh, how did that one look in the original? Do I still have it? I remember her disgusted no, I... face when, like, one of the tentacles slides along her face. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I, don't, I don't remember what her face looks like before that point. I just remember I that expression. The original for that one. Yeah, God, I remember the... There were quite a few shots in this scene where we were like, can't use that, not using that, mm mm, -mm. like, just fucking... Oh, like, a lot of that tentacle, like, slithery stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again, in the original, it's a unnecessarily sexual scene. <laughs> oh my god, it's, yeah. it's so fucking gross. <laughs> like, oh. like we, were, we were having the characters ask, like, why are we slug people? The mm -hmm. meta answer is, because someone beats off to that. I mean, yeah, probably. 
Yeah, yeah. They, they wanted a tentacle yeah. scene, so they needed something with tentacles, even though it makes oh. no goddamn <laughs> sense. Mm-hmm. Like, oh. I, I love, I love that. That's such. Yeah. You know, our first, our first little bit of like more of a dramatic moment, and again, mm -hmm. Lennon nailing it. Absolutely yeah. nailing it. Oh my god. Mm hmm. <laughs> Hey, back to this fucking looks like those new eyes are coming in nice. Uh, Look how you think you'll get them next time. My therapist says oh, the only can we pause for a second. <laughs> There's so I... much to unpack in this scene. <laughs> I fucking love the line. What color do you think you'll get next time? Mm -hmm. Implying a that she tore out his eyes previous uh, rampages during mm -hmm. previous rampages and mm -hmm. b that she's going to tear his eyes out again uh-huh Th yep. that's her like go-to move <laughs> he's <laughs> ripping out his fucking eyes she's pluck him right out <laughs> and then she's hurt him so much and giving him so much trauma he's talking to his <laughs> real world therapist about her which we did like, set up in a previous episode, thanks to Sugo. Yeah, it's true. Talk, like, talking God about psychedelics. Goddamn, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Like, freaking... Oh. What did... Eh. Come on. Yeah, man. Come on, Prober, you got this. We believe in you. <laughs> like the good old Avi eye stab, yep. <laughs> it's a go-to. <laughs> S-A-O-A, bingo. <laughs> okay. okay, so yeah, thankfully I didn't need to do a ton of work on this one, just changing her, giving her a different mouth, basically. Said that she looked like she was in control. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she, tar she definitely, Joji's <laughs> definitely her favorite target. Oh, yeah. And, you know, you can decide for yourself whether it's a case of, you know, maybe it's both these, but... I like to think it's one of two things. One, she's either heard stories about what a piece of shit he is in the office mm -hmm. and just feels like no one will try to stop her if she, if she like, fucks with him. Mm -hmm. um, second, I mean, it's Grimjack, you know, voicing him, so he's just got so very talented. fun screams. An excellent job. Oh, my God. <laughs> so it might just be that she enjoys his particular cadence when she tears him into pieces. It's and true. maybe it's both those things, but I feel like it's... I don't know which of those is the correct answer, but I feel like it's one of them, at least. At least, yeah. yeah. I feel like there's no logic to it. She just pointed at one of them and decided, you. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was yeah. a force of you. chaos and violence. Uh, okay. Oh. So yeah, this, oh. Is, this is the same shot as before that used to have Kyle in it, but I needed Kyle to be gone. Yeah, because he left. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of just adding in bits and pieces to recreate the floor and paint over Kyle there. Which Hopefully it's a pretty simple floor design. Mm hmm Yeah, it was mostly just getting like the thickness exact and like the right level of blur on things. Which on that thickness. Mm-hmm. Which seems to have gone okay, I think. It's beautiful. You're so goddamn talented. No. Yeah. Yeah, you, you fucking do take this compliment, you son of a bitch. I refuse. Mm. <laughs> but let me just say, it is so great to see a friend making such brave strides in their mental health journey. But, uh, tell me. Can the same be said for Biscuit? How the fudge do you know about my dog? Oh, you don't you worry him? about that. <laughs> After all, the way I see it, you got yourself a choice to make. You see, you can either let me go, or I break out and I eat that Biscuit. Oh, no! Clock's the voice kicking. effect was all Izzy. This is a decision that Izzy made later. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I had a particular uh, plug in that I wanted to play with. Like, oh, I bet I could add like a little uh, kind of demon flavor to it and just make her super intimidating. 
Uh, I think I can't. I can't remember how we wrote this. Sorry, go on, Izzy. Sorry. This was one that didn't have to do as much editing to it as I might have thought. Because mm -hmm. uh, I was repurposing the shot like right after the tentacle licks her and she looks all horrified. So I just tweaked it a little bit so she looks more menacing than scared. Nice. Especially, especially changing the mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me see here. I, I feel like the entire biscuit bit was just us all riffing. Yeah, that's definitely our, like a three-person riff. Yeah. Right there. You know, and... Yeah. Like, you know, someone would pitch the name Biscuit and someone else would be like... Yeah. You know, oh, nom nom. You know, like like going off. Yeah, like, like oh, yeah. It's perfect. The dog's name is a snack. Yeah. So she'll threaten to eat it. Eat that biscuit. Biscuit. <laughs> like yeah, it was definitely a case of she was threatening. Yeah. She was threatening his dog. We came with the name biscuit. Oh, what is she threatening to do with the dog? Well, it's named biscuit. She's threatening to eat it. You know, it was just yeah. like one of those things of back and forth and bouncing mm -hmm. ideas. So this whole thing of like she is she is always in control of this. Like she, even though he has grabbed her and she is upside down, she is the one who has control of the situation somehow. Yeah, yeah like, Austin definitely Austin definitely has like a Hannibal Lecter vibe in this mm -hmm. sequence. For sure. Yeah. I'm all about it. <laughs> like, it's very very bane in Dark Knight Rises. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You feel you're in control. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so yeah, this is how this looked in the original. Mm -hmm. A lot more, a lot more terrified. So yeah, like changing her mouth, yeah. messing with uh, with her eyebrows yeah. a little bit, getting rid of the uh, the kind the of lines. sweats. Yeah, the like lines above her above her eyes because it looks yeah, yeah, it looks more afraid. Mm -hmm. Want to make her Whereas... kind of relaxed. <laughs> But also having the big serious eyes, like fucking you think I'm kidding? Yeah, <laughs> like... she's just boring through you with her eyes. Mm hmm. Very good. Very well done, his boy. Thank you. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, dude, fucking super reflective. We noticed that that was a thing. Because, like, in the previous episode, Austin is like, okay, like, fucking enough of, like, plan A or whatever. Like, fucking the eating employees fucking thing. It's like, <laughs> Austin, why are you like this? <laughs> like, like what the hell? <laughs> why? <laughs> fucking self seating the cat seating shit. It's like this children's game has a real cannibalism problem. Like, there's like, so <laughs> much cannibalism that seems to have spawned <laughs> independently in different areas. <laughs> what is it about this game that brings it out in people? I don't <laughs> is this know. part of the experiment? <laughs> I mean, the yo, Aincrad had an arson problem. This one's got a cannibalism problem. I I can't wait to see what the the fuck the problem is with Gun Gale. Oh my god. <laughs> nom nom. Yeah, 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 whatever you want. I'm putting you down. See, see. Sorry, man. The god, yeah. This this one I needed some custom frames because Kyle comes in like talking. talking yeah. As he's, as he is like reincorporating. Oh. So I needed to be very specific. And Kadu did a, a great job. Like, see, like, light fades away just right, and like they still got like the out, the white outline around the uh, around everything. And then it just smoothly transitions into the original whip flaps. Way too busy yeah. moving up the- Whoa! Are you letting her go? She'll kill us all! Huh? Oh, oh no! I, I was just- Nom, nom. The face edit there. Very nice. Molesting her. What? Dude, <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, and that is just- Definitely us poking some more fun at the original. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, so he has like, he has to come up with a like a lie on the spot so that Asna doesn't eat his fucking dog, and he's not good under pressure. What does he say? Mm -hmm. And that's what he came up with for some goddamn yep. reason. And then we were like, and then Kyle will, of course, 
be disgusted with him because that's not okay. Which I I love that that's the line is in the sand for him because it's just like, mm-hmm. a all the other shit Shoji is done, but b they mm-hmm. work like they know they're working for a super villain. They know they're yeah. working for a guy who has kidnapped hundreds of people, is experimenting on them, and mm-hmm. hopes to conquer the world. And this is the line in the sand. Mm-hmm. Do I, I remember I love as that. being like. There has to be some kind of event that he's invited <laughs> him to. What can it be? What's he uninvited from? What's <laughs> he's just throwing the, out a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah his, his quinceanera. His, <laughs> yeah. You know, like his, um, his, his, his son's christening? I don't, I don't know. Like, yeah. it was stupid shit. <laughs> I think we uninvited to my son's christening. Like, I think that's what it was. We were like, what is, like, the most like wholesome event he could have invited him to and we were like a quinceanera or like a christening or something and it was like yeah he's uninvited from his son's christening that's the one <laughs> like fucking <laughs> yeah it's so stupid it's like they, they lead such interesting lives that we're mm-hmm. only seeing a piece of mm-hmm. they're well-rounded people with lives outside of this game some weird gaps in their morality, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad they know where to draw the line in some cases, at least. For sure. <laughs> Dude, it's also so funny to me, because like, I think we've talked about how there are, like, a bunch of comments of people being like, man, I feel so bad for Shoji. Like, he's willing <laughs> to do that to protect his dog. And it's like, that's beautiful. Do you hear the, the shit that he's doing to Trish? <laughs> Like he's but a piece of dog, though. Yeah. But yeah, dog, like, though. Like, the fact, the fact that people are like, "Oh, it's, we love him now that it's like he's so like considerate and protective of his dog," versus what a piece of shit he is to a disabled woman. <laughs> oh my god! It's, it's like because it's also like taking someone else's food is already such a dick move. It's medicated for a woman in a wheelchair. Like, it's just <laughs> beyond assholery. It's like, God damn it, Shoji. Well, yeah, so, like, oh, for so many people, so, much. <laughs> so many people, once it's once he's protective of his dog, people are like, oh, we'll forgive him for all the awful shit he did. He's like, all right, whatever you want to do. <laughs> we fucking know. Very, it's a very funny thing about human psychology. Mm-hmm. It is insane how much more people like animals than people. I get that. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> On a fundamental level. <laughs> no. You know what? Super Reflective makes a good com- um, good comment about it. Look, mm. the disabled woman works for the mind control company, too. The dog did nothing. I mean, that's, that's very <laughs> fair. That's a fair point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's, oh. it's just very fun. Like, we start out with a very normal, like, fucking workplace grievance of, like, somebody yeah. is, like, like you're taking someone's food from the fridge and just <laughs> continually upping the ante into just <laughs> absurdity. <laughs> oh, god damn, it's so funny. <laughs> a list! Yeah, that's fair. I'm such a dirty, dirty boy. I thought I knew you. I fucking love the sound of her just slapping on him. <laughs> I love that you love it because I had a lot of fun designing that. It's like, just, I need, a, need to sound like she's slamming into like a wet mattress. <laughs> yeah. So what are all these sounds you combined to make that? Mm-hmm. Like, what do we got here? Da, 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 tentacle slime for them just moving. That is. Oh yeah, gore sound effect. Nice, nice. <laughs> Amazing. Man. <laughs> a little punch sound. Let's oh go. yeah, a little punch. <laughs> Just to give, like, weight behind uh-huh. her, like, hitting it. Very nice. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like a... It's such a magical thing that you can, like, take two sound effects, mash them together, and they somehow don't sound like either. Right? It's crazy. Oh. It's very fun. It can be really difficult, but it can be so fun. Mm-hmm. It's a fun puzzle. Mm-hmm. 
I love the. I remember the first time you did that back with Buso ranking a bridge and the uh, mm-hmm. uh, Kazuki's <laughs> weapon coming from down from the sky. Yeah, <laughs> you having to find that specific right sound of this metal lance digging into concrete. <gasps> oh, I can let in chat hi Lennon we've Hello. already talked about how ridiculously talented you are and what an excellent job you did in specifically this episode but also in all episodes but specifically this one it's true <laughs> I got that last scene my god <laughs> although this scene too <sighs> yep yeah dude I love love watching reactors be like did she just say brother did he not <laughs> did he, what? Did he, did he not, not pick up on that? did he not notice that <laughs> Like, how did he not hear that? What the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, he he does not care enough to be paying attention. <laughs> I do love that with reactors. You're like, how, why is he not How's clocking that? I, I, I don't know. Kirito oh, no. <laughs> getting a little bit of that PTSD right there. It's like no. I, not more crying women, no. I remember us writing this too, because it was a whole thing of like, okay. So the scene overall, they are siblings and she's upset about this situation and she's like seeing that like he cares so much about Asana, and like it feels like she he like doesn't care about her. And then we were like, okay, but to Kirito, she is a rando that he met a few days ago, and she's putting a huge emotional weight on him right now. <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah. like... <laughs> this is a lot to place on him out of fucking nowhere. Yeah. Right? Like, that That would be really awkward, and a lot of people would probably not know how to react immediately. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, I'm pretty uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. But because we have the context of, like, them being siblings and her knowing, it's just kind of like, wow, what a fucking prick. (laughs) (laughs) He still could have found another, a nicer way to word that instead of, I don't have time for this. (laughs) (laughs) It's so funny. It's like, fuck, man, that is cold as hell. (laughs) (laughs) So there's this guy? And I thought he was the problem. I can't remember if it was Izzy or if it was me that pitched that line. I just remember Carrie, your face just being like, oh my god. (laughs) Oh, the I don't have time for this? Yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure that was me. Yeah, that feels like a you thing. (laughs) I don't want to be the problem. I think that that might have been one of the things that you just said randomly like it was another one of those he's just saying it to be funny like stupid consciousness get it out of his brain and we were like that's fucking hilarious you write it down like, but that's, that's so mean though <laughs> <laughs> i don't have time for this oh it's just God. like bottle this shit up it's <laughs> it's horrible it's fucking horrible <laughs> He says, until my wife is free and I'm a safe distance away. So it's like his caveat is just, I don't want to be a part of this. Like, even after you've helped me, I just want to be away before you, like, emotionally deal with this. What? God damn. Yeah, it's it's so fun. Especially, like, this is a person who, for no apparent reason, has just decided to help you with your insane quest. Yeah. And he's just. (laughs) He's assumed that it's not a real problem because she's, like, fucking rambling and blubbering and shit so he can't understand her. So he's just like, I don't know, maybe a fucking girlfriend said some mean shit to her or something. Some typical fucking female bullshit, I guess. <laughs> it's like his go-to. It's like, oh, yeah. fuck you, Kirito. <laughs> we, definitely had, we definitely had some alternate versions of the scene where he's like, oh, I'm sure Becky didn't mean it. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like you're not, you're not even trying to pay attention. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. um, okay. Uh, hey, hey, listen here. I don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah. See, we also have to be we're super still careful with basically that, strangers. Because we couldn't have her say the fuck because it wouldn't get past the censors, so it's the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine. 
<laughs> we did it! <laughs> I gotta tell ya, I am all kinds of uncomfortable right now. Could you maybe just like bottle this mess up until my wife is free and I'm at a safe distance? Yeah, no, that's rough. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, won't pretend to know what you're going through, but you just take all the time you need. <laughs> That's such another big ask, because it's like, yeah, she's crying into his shoulders. So, Lennon, I'm going to need you to just cry for, like, a solid 30 seconds. I don't know how long we're going to need this to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep going. We'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> yeah. She's yes. like, ah, into a mic for forever. <laughs> yes. Yes, weep for us. Oh, sorry for that. But I'm good now. Totally fine. Hundo percent cool. So let's get moving, okay? Oh yeah, this was an unexpectedly tricky one, because if you notice, oh, yeah? she starts in shadow and then turns <laughs> her head into the light. <laughs> oh, and she's talking while she's doing it. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, this is a little As a tricky a little. stuff there. A little fucking time right there. <laughs> Don't often need to mask somebody's tongue. <laughs> huh. Good yes, job, is boy. <laughs> Way to fucking go. Yeah, this so this was two different lumetry color corrections. One for each side of her face. Oh. Oh. It could have been a little better. Like the Shut the fuck the, up. The outline <laughs> of her mouth on the shadow side is a little faint. But I probably, I probably couldn't have done anything else unless I redrew some of it okay an excellent huh? job oh, uh, sure. yeah if you're sure mm -hmm. yeah! Yeah! is you wow <laughs> yeah, really cool. she's just so done with all of this like i don't care about your personal bullshit mm -hmm. i want mommy uh-huh <laughs> we've taken place, huh? so much time Away from our main objective so this bitch could fucking cry. Like, <laughs> let's go. God, I've been patient enough. <laughs> so why am I so on edge? There he is! Hey. The boy! Hey. Is the boy! Harry the Tweaker Tarantula. So this was a whole ass time. <laughs> yep, it's a whole ass time. <laughs> yeah, because, like, as you can see, we got Terry in the background. Like, the, the whole point of this is so that we can put Terry into the background. Problem, mm -hmm. it is a scrolling background where not only oh. do Kirito and Lifa walk in front of him, but you also have people in the foreground who pass in front of them. So there's a lot of uh, kind of frame-by-frame frame masking and after effects going on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can just open that up. Huh. That's another mm -hmm. one that I uh, got my friend uh, Rachel to draw for me. And oh, always, talented. always happy to work with her. Because she just gets our humor. Of mm -hmm. like, I need this weird thing. And she'll be like, what if I made it grosser? And I'm like, yes. Every time. <laughs> She's amazing. I love her. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, infamously for us, Cronenberg in episode 11. Yep. Mm -hmm. Other than this episode, most recently, the fucking teacher thumb with the blood spot. <laughs> it's like, this is so good. Like, mm -hmm. so, oh. so this uh, gives you kind of like, like, it's, it's weird how when you break it down, how messy this looks. Like, I didn't go through and cut Kirito and Leafa out of every frame because it's mm -hmm. not actually necessary. So okay. it looks more like this. I really only needed to be super precise where they specifically overlapped. Because see, like, oh. I've cut around Leafa here, but nothing needs to go behind Kirito, so I didn't need to bother. Oh. Until here where he starts passing in front of where Terry is. So mm -hmm. I started gradually adding him to the mask. That's so cool. 
<laughs> and then after that point, I didn't need to mask anything. And I could just let Terry run free. <gasps> hey. He's been unleashed. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Is Rachel the same person who did the bush people? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> pretty, pretty much any time there's something like this detailed added to the footage, we, we usually get Rachel to do it. Mm hmm Again, because she just gets it. Mm -hmm. She just gets it. And she doesn't judge us. Well, she doesn't well, tell us that she judges us. Yeah. <laughs> if she doesn't verbalize it to us, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is... I the, know. You know. She seems apartment. a little too excited to be judging us. That's fair. <laughs> oh my god. Heckin' simple edit on this one, where like originally they're uh, they're passing these people as they walk by, but needed to hang on it longer than it actually lasted, and slowing down the footage <laughs> wouldn't have worked, uh, because. In the original, they're actually kind of, like, moving as they laugh, so I kind of had mm. to, fr unfortunately, had to freeze it, zoom it in, and then just move it manually. Seemed like the best, Pick best aside, compromise. you sitters that's, Guys, that's part of the update. Like, that's why he's saying hugs, not drugs anymore. Mm -hmm. He got updated. Yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. A, he's a whole new tarantula. Mm-hmm. <laughs> used to give out free drugs, and yeah. then they realized that's a mistake. Yeah. He's reformed now. Mm-hmm. But there would be outrage if he was just straight up removed from the game, so he just had to... He's too mm -hmm. popular. A little bit. The kids yeah, love him too much. <laughs> Children love spiders. I'm <laughs> sure. This fucking thing. Oh, yeah. you had to do a rewrite on this bitch. Fucking let me look. Yeah. I remember. We, we fucked up. <laughs> Or not the timeline, yeah, because we, the original thing was like, I, you just got an email, yeah. uh, fucking uh, Sugo's moved up the wedding. But we yeah. realized like, okay, we're not being super specific, but if he's getting an email, that kind of implies that it's like an invitation update. Yeah. Problem is, when Sugo first showed up, he specifically said to Kirito, don't bother coming to the wedding. You're mm -hmm. not invited, you know? It's like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, I'm looking and... at the script, and it went, heckin' Yui. Daddy, you have an email. Kirito. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I thought this was 2025, not 1984. Lifa. Uh, I don't think they had email in the 80s, my guy. <laughs> Yui. There's no time to explain how incorrect you are. Suko moved up the wedding. It's tonight. And then Kirito, what? And then it's basically the scene yeah. as we have it. Oh, with, uh, no, the, um... Mm -hmm. She has a, a joke. What kind of, you know, what kind of maniac w would invite you to? <laughs> would invite you to uh, the wedding? Yeah. yeah. I don't have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you mean the dude who kidnapped her? What kind of maniac would invite you to the wedding? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then so, it has to go in the cake, which, <laughs> which is longer too. So oh the God, episode yeah. was already fully, <laughs> again, aside from needing to redo the disclaimer later, mm -hmm. the episode was fully recorded at this point, and. You know, Izzy, like, comes in for a session, like, okay, guys, I know we're writing Maha now. Um, we need to do a rewrite on Sora. And, like, Carrie and I are like, what? What the fuck's well, the problem? what's wrong, yeah. And, yeah, you bring this to our attention, and all three of us just sitting there like, oh, that's such an obvious plot hole. What the fuck are we doing? Yeah. It goes directly contrary to something we said. Like, fuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so sitting down and having to come up, with something that was, you know, the least intrusive fix we could come up with. Mm -hmm. And, um, again, I'm sure there was, like, back and forth to get to that point. I, <laughs> um, I, do I don't know who came up with the idea of it being a Facebook update. I definitely remember being the one who pitched the joke of, what kind of maniac you still use as Facebook? Oh, yeah, because we were talking about that. We were like, he he might, like, I think we were first being like, he, 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 he would, like, he would, post like, it publicly. It, or he would, he would post it somewhere. And then we were like, what would he use? And we remembered in that same scene where we were like, don't bother coming to the wedding, that heckin' Sugo mentioned, like, reading the papers. So we're like, he's, he's an old man. 
He's, he's going to use fucking Facebook. <laughs> like, <laughs> old man, he's probably like 28. <laughs> right? He's or like, nah, like he's, he's a, a fucking boomer ass bitch. He's decided. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Read oh. the newspaper. Who does that? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. But yeah, and then we were just like, fucking, yeah, instead of her being like, what kind of maniac would invite you? It just became a, what kind of maniac still uses Facebook? And we were like, let's fucking go. Perfect. We fixed it. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I'm so happy with like how much people seem to like that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like the idea oh. of him using Facebook is like holy shit, that's hilarious. It's like, damn, oh. I didn't realize that was such a dunk. Like, let's <laughs> fucking go, hell yeah. Yeah, and I, again, I'm very glad. I'm very, glad. Still uses I'm very glad we were able to get uh, Lennon and uh, Red as a tomato to uh, re-record those lines. So, yeah. so last minute, so out of the blue, mm-hmm. no, and so quickly. No, they're so wonderful. Oh my and god. And then this joke. Oh okay, play Let's it, and then I'm gonna it. read what the script says. <laughs> yeah, the right. original version. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the uh, the shortened version that we ended up with. Yeah. No, you listen, Francois. It's five tiers, and they go chocolate, vanilla, chocolate, foie gras. Stop crying, I'm not done. I think Which... originally we had more layers, but the version I'm looking we, at... We went through multiple versions yeah. of that scene, mm-hmm. and what we're going to cover is, you know, we, we, we have that version, and then we're going to cover the one that was almost the final version. Yeah. So it says, no, you listen, Francois. It's five tiers. They go chocolate, vanilla, chocolate, foie gras, chocolate. Now, the frosting should evoke the feeling of learning to ride your bike for the first time. The smell of the freshly cut grass on the dewy morning air as your usually absentee father. Stop crying! I'm not done! (laughs) 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 Going into a whole fucking thing. And we were like, this is too long. (laughs) We we had another version that like very specifically was like... Yo, know, one I'm layer needs to have like gold flakes, but not all the layers. Yeah, right. And I think like it was that, so specific. That might have got deleted because I'm I'm looking at I'm that's like the first script we have, and now I'm looking at like version two, which I don't think is the final version, but I'm looking for the cake thing in that too. Also, also one of my favorite moments in recording is getting Kaiser, him saying that. And you know, stop crying! I'm not done. And is he chiming in? That's not the first time he said that to someone. <laughs> yeah. And Kaiser just like you could just you know it was all audio, but you could hear him folding in on himself like ah oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it was. It all it's like, such spo- emotional spo- damage. Yeah. Spoiler: it'll be in the bloopers. But yeah, it was. It was absolutely Kaiser going like, "You can cry when I finish." It's like that is definitely not the first time he said that to someone. And, like, him, oh. and him just like laughing about it. You can cry when I finish. Name of your sex tape, and he just like, broke. Like no, no, oh. I feel so dirty. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you want to check out our blue peas are available on our Patreon at the $10 tier. Episode 17 coming soon. Yep, it's a good, good time. Do the blue peas. Paw are 3 good. coming sooner. It's true. Oh my god, it's basically done. It's got yeah. one or two things to do and it's going to be out real, real soon. I'm very excited. Be good, good, good times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, you know, just in case anyone is curious, Foie gras is fatty goose liver from a goose that yeah. has been excessively overfed to the point where most countries consider it so cruel it's illegal. It's disgusting. But it's, it's such a rich person thing. Like, it's such a horrible luxury item that we're like, no, he'd fucking want this. <laughs> like, like, he doesn't care that it tastes terrible in a cake. He just wants the status of filling an entire tier of a cake with foie gras. Mm-hmm. Well, also, oh. he's such a sick person. Of course, he would just be like, ah, oh, yes, the food made the most cruel way possible. I mm-hmm. love it. Oh. Like, of course, his favorite food would be foie gras. Mm-hmm. This fucking fuck. piece of shit. <laughs> this maniac. There would, oh. How many livers would it take? 
Like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. I just did another scan! I am sensing Mommy's player ID directly above us! Go, go, go! Yeah, right! Uh, you guys! I think you're forgetting about me! <gasps> Invisible. Wow. I remember writing this and just how happy and excited you were, Izzy, to be like, I can't wait to fucking do the sounds of him just hitting against the glass. Just being yeah. a bird slapping against a window. <laughs> Which, weirdly enough, was not able to just find the sound of a bird slamming into a windshield, because I guess it's cruel or something. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so what did I have to add up here? Freaking magic air. Okay, that's just a thing flying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the actual hit. Here we go. So that was pretty much this. And this. <laughs> Just needed it to sound so fucking painful. Got a, a Hollywood punch sound effect. Very Got nice, a mechanism kind of a sweetener thing. I think that's like the kind of like Wong sound for like the, the force field. Beautiful. Gore for bones breaking, of course, of course. Of course, of course, of course, yes. Let's see here. We got just a metal hit. Of course, of course. And a pulse. Nice. Yeah, what do they what do these sound like just kinda in a in a vacuum here? We got Beautiful. That is I forgot that one. There we go. <laughs> That's always such a good sound. <laughs> Just like that slap. Mm -hmm. I think it's usually like like a like a belt being whipped. Mm hmm Ooh. Yeah, that was like the the, the dull bassy kind of reverberation. Nice. And then we got Oh, just his bones. Oh, just his bones. the individual sound of his bones breaking on impact. It's like, Jesus. Nice. A little more reverberation. And some sci-fi. Heck yeah. Stupapity. It's good times. Stupapity. Invisible wall. Darling, I just arrived at the venue and I have to tell you, it is, in a word, breathtaking. Oh, There's also stuff that I, that I love, like, throughout the episode. Like, when Kyle pops back in, he's like, hey, I can't get the boss. He's, like, really busy moving up the wedding. And then it, like, fucking cuts to Yui, or, like, fucking later, like, Yui explains that he's moving up the wedding. And then we show him <laughs> on the phone talking about the cake. And then the next time we see him, he's talking to Asuna, being like, I just saw the menu, and it's looking great. Like, it's like... Or the venue. The venue, sorry. It's a whole <laughs> thing. of It's all connecting with the fucking... This is what everyone's doing while Kirito's, like, doing shit. Like, I'm about and it. It makes me really also, happy. I just... I loved... I loved this decision we made to have... Sugo be the world's like worst bridezilla. Right, dude. That, that was all because of that fucking China pattern joke. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's, oh. it's fun how like some of the stuff just kind of naturally comes up, like mm -hmm. just building on itself, even when it's not like directly planned from the beginning. It's like, mm -hmm. all right, we want Sugo to have stuff to say to Asuna that isn't just repeating like, I'm a creepy fucking rapist guy over and over again. Because like, yeah. It's not super fun and has diminishing returns. So we need to give For him sure. other shit to talk about. So what would what would he be talking about? Maybe he's getting That's... really invested in the wedding and it's completely like, yeah. one sided because obviously Austin is just telling him to fuck off. And like it makes sense because we're like, look at how awful and fucking selfish this man is. So of course he would make this wedding all about him. Like it just well, it's Oh. I mean, this this scene has one of my favorite lines for that. Is you know, mm -hmm. you know <laughs> it's gonna be so beautiful for you know my big day. Oh, I mean, our big day. Uh huh. You know what? No, I I stand by it. I've earned this. <laughs> like, what <are> you <laughs> like <doing>? fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I've earned this. Like, what? What have you ever done in your life to earn anything? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Asta's just groaning. Uh...
Because she's obviously been dealing with this man talking about this fucking wedding for hours. Uh -huh. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I love that I've seen at least one comment that was listening to the scene and just going like, Is that canon in D I hear? <laughs> Getting really excited for this piece of classical music. Let's fucking go! Hell yeah! It's like, damn, I didn't realize it was that popular. I just looked up a list of, like, traditional wedding music. Rob that beat! <laughs> That's, That's my jam right there! I mean, a uh, big day? No. You know what? I stand by it. I've earned this. I he got emotional about it. Like, right? Like, I have been through so much. Oh, and I just, yeah, I'm just gonna take a moment to be proud of myself and my struggle. <laughs> and we cannot, we can't take credit for that. That is 100% shit Kaiser added in the performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, he's so oh. good. It's it's so lucky dear. to have him in all wrong. the fucking cast. Should I come oh, over? My God. No! Mm -hmm. no! No! That was me! I hit the table by accident! Repeatedly! I'm just so excited! I'm, I'm looking at these photos I brought over of my wedding dress. Red and black was such a bold choice. Well done, honey. Red and black? What is this? A whore's funeral? No, oh, I need to go take care of this immediately. Talk to you soon, soon sweetie. Kisses, mwah. In case you're curious, that is the hang-up sound effect from Facebook Messenger. Oh, I didn't notice! I, I've, I've never, I have never used that feature ever, so I had no way of knowing that. I, that's I, how I call my mom. Oh that's how God. I know. I, that is, that is wonderful. Also, I distinctly, I distinctly remember Kaiser loving horse funeral! Yeah! <laughs> like, dude... I remember I was just being like, okay, she wants to get rid of him. So, and she knows that he's like preoccupied with all this wedding shit. Mm -hmm. What can she say that will make him go away? <laughs> like, just, right. oh. just offend his sensibility so thoroughly that he needs to go take care of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a black and red wedding dress? No, it must be white. <laughs> like, God damn it, Suga. <laughs> I, Sugo, I'm someone who's obsessed with purity. Right? Like, Jesus Christ, he's just awful. A red and black wedding dress sounds fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's go. Fucking somebody in the chat. Wait, I thought it said horse funeral. I've seen people say that, and it's like, what? Oh, whore. my God. Whore. Yeah, a whore's funeral. Mm -hmm. Yup. Yeah. Yeah, he's a terrible human being. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Kirito? Kirito, is that you? What the heck are you doing? It's a wall! <laughs> I really fucking love Kirito? it. It's a wall! <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's such a great read for that. Like, oh. what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you fucking idiot. Oh my god. Buddy! Oh. What are we trying to do here? I am trying to see if hitting it at just the right angle will go to me through. So mean. It's good enough for Mario. Good. It's good enough good. for me. <laughs> I, I also like the speed running jokes we had this episode. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad those seem to hit. Oh. Also, what? it's so funny that Yui doesn't give a shit about him getting hurt. She's like, well, if he's gonna get through the wall, like, like, whatever. It's, like, it's only mental trauma. He'll get over it. Hey, it's fine. That's what I'm here to help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kid, why aren't you stopping this? Though improbable, his logic is sound. But he's just gonna end up hurting himself. That is a risk I'm willing to take. Try 45 degrees left! Adjusting now. I love the way you say that, yeah. like the, the mm -hmm. tired tone. I just have this image of him, like he's punching in the wide shots, 
when you say it that way, I'm just picturing multiple attempts where it's just him slamming his face into this fucking force field. Right, <laughs> Jesus. Like, why are you headbutting it, guy? <laughs> oh. Oh, and the fucking key card, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Tell them how you made this. Ah, pretty simple Photoshop. Uh, it was... The effect itself isn't super complicated. It was mostly just kind of artistic work. Mm. Uh, just needed uh, the individual frames of uh, of Kirija holding the key card. And then, yeah, just found a brush that kind of worked for it. Uh, made a bunch of scratch marks that seemed like, okay, like someone could plausibly do this with like their fingernail, maybe. Kind of nice. get that kind of look to it. Yeah. And then I used the effects in Photoshop to add uh, beveling so that it kind of looked like there was a bit of lighting and shadow. Uh, so you can kind of tell that, you know, there's some depth to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then I uh, just took that, uh, like, just just this layer into Premiere. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, went frame by frame, uh, just placing it just right. Not to spoil anything, but it just makes me think of that thing you showed Carrie and I yesterday. I fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud I hate of myself. I, I said it, and me and you had a very funny back and forth that made me very sad, and then you edited a whole thing, and it was just so upsetting. <laughs> you are complicit in this. <laughs> I am, and that's what makes it hurt the most. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. But yeah, super reflective, you're right. Adding the heart was vitally important. <laughs> right? <laughs> Love writing like Kirito and Asuna's relationship, where like, they go so hard at each other, but they would die for each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That's real love right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, um... God. And I, I'm glad that people like can read the card and the, you know, cause I remember I was worried that there was not enough time on screen, like that it just cut a little too short. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very glad that I haven't seen anyone have a problem with that. It's cause there's other shots with it in mm -hmm. it that I think it, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But I guess you. you don't want to, people can pause. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, yeah, but it's, I also just want for like something like that. Like this is kind of an important <laughs> shot. That's one of those things of I want to make sure people are getting it on the first viewing and that the pausing and whatnot is more for, like, real fun background stuff for, hey. for yeah, like, but secondary then you have, viewing. You have shots like this, like, a few seconds later where you have plenty of time. Exactly. Hey. It's Again, it was something I was worried about, and I'm just very glad it hasn't actually been a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking super reflective. You could tell that Izzy added this because it has proper comma usage, even in the hastily scratched notes. Uh-huh. I think Asuna would have proper grammar. In, in fairness, I would have had the same instinct, uh, Izzy. I would have been like, no, no, let's put a comma here. Fair. It'll drive, it would drive me nuts as well. I don't know that I would have. God damn it, Kenny. <laughs> Fucking yeah! Those are important. A lot of, a lot of remaking sparkles and whatnot. It is the salon mm -hmm. money. Are you serious? That's amazing. We've got to get moving. Wait, but what about the plan? We still need a ton of guys if we're gonna stand a chance of getting through that place. There's no time. They can notice this is missing and change the code any sec. God damn. Lagging so hard. <laughs> Anyways, it's because you're using After Effects and whatnot. Like, Premiere's freaking the fuck out. It's just, it's just reading a lot of shit. It's fucking rough. Yep. Uh, another We're just going to have to rush through and hope for the best. Oh, yeah. Does that ever work? You're being an idiot! Probably. But you know what they say? Who's rushing? That was a terrible movie! I don't mean to brag, but oh, fucking uh, this! Oh my god! Fucking. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> so, so go back to that. There are two things to talk about this. Yes. One. I don't mean to uh, originally. Brag, but, uh, yeah, originally, so this this line, this line was supposed to be the guy on the left speaking. Yeah. It says no guy. Did, yeah. yeah. But we did yeah. have a line for the the puka lady that's just not yeah. in the episode. Yeah. It was you know. I don't mean to brag, but 
I'm deathly allergic to the latex. And the girl would respond with, ooh, how exotic. <laughs> like she would be into it. Which, <laughs> it was which, like, all right. which fucking killed us during writing because it's just like, a, <laughs> why is that hot? Like, <laughs> what, like, what context are we missing here? Yeah, what that's, is the rest of this conversation? It's like, first of all, that's not a brag. Second of all, why is she into it? <laughs> like, what the fuck's <laughs> going on here? Third like, of all, what is all their day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, originally, so that was it, or written originally. We just never got anyone to record the how exotic line, so it just said fuck it and just yeah. kept moving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we, we <laughs> cast like, Eagle, our, our good boy Eagle Ape Burger, as the mm -hmm. uh, a deathly allergic to latex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and then you pass off the lip flaps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was passing that particular scene off to dispenser to, to lip flap it. And he was asking, like, hey, uh, so for this shot, like, who's supposed to be talking? Is it, like, the big guy or the little girl? And I was realizing, like, oh, fuck, yeah, I guess I just assumed that it would... I, I, I guess I assumed it would be obvious, but yeah, I guess it's a game. It could be either one. Fuck, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I wasn't specific. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be the guy. It's like... Okay, but what if it was the girl? Because that would be really funny. And I thought about it. I was like, yeah, that would be funnier. Yeah, let's do that. It's like, cool, because I already did that. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part about that, mm -hmm. about him, about Spencer doing that, is that it's sort of an unintentional inside joke. Mm -hmm. An Eagle Eight Burgers uh, typecast is blonde. Yep. He yeah. always plays blonde characters. And this is the one time mm -hmm. we cast him as not a blonde. And then Spencer made him become the blonde in the scene. Yep. <laughs> That's the <laughs> tradition, man. Yeah. <laughs> Eagle Eight Burger, typecast blonde. Mm -hmm. Oh, good night, little boy. <laughs> And uh, Emerald Ruby, you're correct. The reason Kirito keeps smashing into the ground is because he still has not learned how to land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why every landing is him screaming from off screen as he hits the ground like a meteor. But, uh, <laughs> also, yes, heck yeah, little Sharky Eagle does play all of the princesses in Seven Deadly Schmucks Abridged. Yes. Yeah. Sadie, I do not wish to alarm you, Very but challenging. it appears that Leafa's no longer following us. Daddy? <laughs> Greetings! Dude, Greetings, not enough people warrior. have noticed that joke. Welcome. Like, I, I love that. That he does not give a shit. Daddy? That he isn't following them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy? God oh. damn. Greetings, brave warrior. Oh, that's so fucking thing! Welcome to the world Now we got tree. Mez and Eagle again. To the realm yep. of the gods! Only those with a noble heart and a keen mind may enter. If thou believeth thyself worthy of passage, then breathe deep and proclaim thy glory! <laughs> and so, do we have yeah. the script with the original version of this scene? Because we had a completely yes. different joke. It's originally for this. The first part of it is about the same length, but it's because of what we wanted the later joke to be that we had to cut it because we just straight up didn't have the footage. So yeah, like, but we had a, a yeah. joke that would pay off on the original version of this scene. Yeah. We so like originally cut. it was like statue one saying kind of the same thing, like greetings, brave warrior. Welcome to the world tree gateway to the realm of the gods. And then the second statue, only those with a noble heart and a keen mind may enter. And then such one again, if thou dost believe thyself worthy of passage, then thou must proveth thyself by answering our most ancientest riddle. What has? And then Kirito goes, the answer is man. And then <laughs> two goes, correct, jerk. <laughs> and then <what> a man. <laughs> and then just recycling the riddle of the Sphinx and Kirito's not yeah. having it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He just knows exactly where this is going. But the thing is, the reason we loved that joke mm -hmm. was the payoff later for Which when Leafa yeah. rest rescues Kirito. Yeah. We were I going got... to have it yeah. cut back outside with like a flashback. Yeah. And Kirito's like, I don't mean to downplay how much I appreciate this, but 
how did you get in here? And she's like, what? You thought you were the only one who could solve uh, could solve such a simple puzzle? And then it cuts to Leafa standing at the gate, which there is no footage of. So this is where the problem was. But it's just her going, it's a giraffe! And then the statue going, no, no, you're not listening. What has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? Leafa, no, you're not listening, stone man. I said it's a giraffe. <laughs> statue too. Look, you can't just keep screaming the same answer at us. And then Leafa goes, giraffe, 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 giraffe. <laughs> oh, this stupid thing must be broken. Man. And then the statue goes, correct. You may enter. And then Leafa's like, told you it was a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> and that fucking killed us and we were <laughs> heartbroken we couldn't keep it in oh. oh but at the very least i am still very much a fan of the joke we did go with just playing oh, off of the did. press x to pay respects shit oh. <laughs> of like <laughs> just <laughs> really sapping all sense of meaning and drama out of a moment by just making it a simple button press Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah. then fucking Eagle coming in <laughs> with like no less enthusiasm, like he just made some rousing speech. <laughs> yes! Shit, young adventurer! Now, I told you! Go forth! And may the so gods smile <laughs> upon thee! Wait, is this it? Are you kidding me? Is the final dungeon of this gosh forsaken game seriously just a giant empty tomb? Ugh, suppose I should at least commend them for creating a speedrunner's wet dream. Let's do this! Such good music. Oh my gosh. Oh my! Has some great tunes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this scene was a lot less difficult visually, like not a lot of layers. It was yeah. mostly just learning to work within what was there as much as possible and occasionally uh, getting uh, custom lip flaps because obviously Kirito doesn't really have much of a reason to be talking during this scene, so he wasn't in the original. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we just kind of have him talking to himself to fill space. But like... Yeah, like, shit like this, like, this is, this is custom by Kaduyu, and that looks so real. It looks amazing. Yeah, absolutely flawless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one... Oh, Kaduyu's so talented, oh my god. Yeah, most of, uh, most of the shit in this scene was, like, sound effects stuff. Oh, come on, Sugo! Who did it you steal from? Oh, yeah, that reminds me, um, the whole the Roger, 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 Roger. We... Mm -hmm. We wrote that assuming that would be like super easy to find that audio, and you had like a weirdly hard time with that. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I found a couple sources, but like the only clean ones I could find were like from like I think like Lego Star Wars, I think, and not all of them were like exactly what I wanted. Um, mm. I was able to find like there are like youtube videos where people have cut together like every instance of the battle droids talking from like the prequels which i was mm -hmm. able to to spool through and uh problem is most of those have other shit going on like sound wise in the background so they weren't that super makes usable sense. but oh. i was able to find a few that worked thank Pretty. god so, so they, I'll be right back. I gotta be. How about? Okay. I just really thought that would be like way easier to come across, and then you were telling us about like fucking struggle to make that joke work. And I was like, really? I just would have assumed like the Star Wars fandom would have our fucking backs on this. <laughs> no, unfortunately. Oh, so. Roger, Roger. Oh, come on, Sugo! Who did it? You steal from? I had a lot of fun doing oh, that, the shit. fight sound effects for this. <laughs> I just wanted right to make, that. like, the, the hit sound super beefy. Go, 
Oh, gee, if only I had an army of offensive racial stereotypes with which to combat you. But I think that'd be just a little too appropriate for this game. For those of you who haven't seen the prequels, that's a jab at fucking Jar Jar Binks and the uh, their fucking the army Gungans. at the end of that. The Gungan army. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew it was wrong. I was thinking about like, the Tuscans. Like, no, that's the Tuscan Raiders. That's definitely not Jar Jar's people. Yeah, Thank no. you for saying Gungans. I was just like Roger. totally blanking on the actual name of their race. Looking gotcha. The Jar Jar Binks slash Brian Blessed people. <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> I, there are a couple from the movies that I was able to take. Like, I think this is the sound of freaking Qui-Gon like force pushing one of them into a wall. Beautiful. You're under arrest. And it's giant empty tube, right? Yeah. Yeah, Emerald Ruby was saying tube, and uh, and they were like, oh, but I've been hearing enough times that I'm starting to doubt and think maybe it's tomb. And I get that. I've had times where I've listened to it, and it sounds like tomb to me. I was like, no, it's definitely tube. That was the joke. It was like, you know, because it's the cin cylindrical shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tube. God, how many times I copied the Roger Roger when they're flying out at him. Roger 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 Roger. My god damn. Roger 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 Roger. <laughs> How pretty. I think that'd be just a little too appropriate for this game. You're fun, but you droids really need to. Yeah, that's another custom one. Uh, okay, yeah, that's that one I didn't know about. Damn. Yeah, Kadri did some good work there. Mm -hmm. My way! And like pretty much this whole shot. There's a few custom additions. Returned. Hello. Hello. Huh. Oh, I like whenever I get to to work on uh like big fight scenes. Yeah. Yeah, some good stuff. This, well, you're this... gonna be happy with the finale. <laughs> mm -hmm. This particular oh bit took me a long time to do, cause like, Wait. you would think that just like. A rain of arrow sound effect would be really easy to find, right? Because it happens so frequently in movies yeah. and stuff. You'd think that someone would just have that on tap. But no. Nope. I only have single arrows that I had to copy a whole bunch of fucking times. No, 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 no. Supplement it with some like razor machine gun stuff. So goddamn good. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, this took me a hot minute. No, 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 I, no, I remember. No. Oh my god. No, not now. Not when I'm so close. All right, which one of you wise guys threw it? <laughs> Dude, I remember I was just being like, we barely need to write anything for this. That's that's fucking hilarious itself. That's, <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> that, rem that reminds me of. Oh god, I don't know if I've ever shown you guys the fucking arrow scene from Jim Cotta, but it's that same thing of. Yeah. Okay, this is played completely straight. But this has a Monty Python level perfect comedic timing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's supposed to be a big dramatic moment. That's just hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, how was this not intended to be a funny shot? Like, <laughs> uh, like look yeah. at this. Which one of you wise guys threw it? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, no, no, he needs to be stabbed more times from off screen. 
<laughs> like, especially because there's, you like, you know, he doesn't say anything in the original. But there is that awkward pause when he's been stabbed the one time and it's like, oh my god, he's been stabbed. And then he just becomes a pin cushion. It's like, okay, now you've just made it funny. But one stab is like, oh, it's dramatic and he's he can't move any further. But once you throw in the rapid fire three or four more, it's just like, okay, well, that's... Well, now you're just making fun of yourself. That's just self-parody. Now it's just silly. <laughs> yeah, that's another one could do you uh, did for me. Like this is a tricky one because like his face is constantly shifting. Oh yeah, damn. So, like, a very emotional shot for him. I mm -hmm. real real props to the the original animators. This is good stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, oh. come on, come on, Premier. Yeah, so like oh. in the original, like his mouth doesn't open there. He just slowly grimaces harder. So I needed to get to you to draw these so that, you know, he, he was not only talking, but that his mouth was continuously getting bigger at just the right rate so that it looked like it matched. He did a very good job. Trash mobs! Really think this will be enough to stop me? In the end, it turned out it wasn't being enough to stop me. Dude, I remember you fucking pitching that as you being like, I really want like a fucking Souls game. Like, you died. Did you show yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> just really undercut this fucking moment of drama with like, oh, and he also stole the fucking death screen from Souls games. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's straight up the sound effect from Elden Ring of someone dying in here. Oh. Oh my god. It makes it really easy for us to steal stuff when we can blame it on a fucking psychopath who steals stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thanks, well, Ugzy Gal one one one. Was uh, gave us uh, sixteen hundred forty bits to say. Been watching for a while. SAOA has been one of my favorite bridge series for a while. Thank you for your work. Oh, thank you. Oh, Haka, welcome to the stream. How about? Yeah. Appreciate it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This this scene was a different kind of challenge because like Kirito doesn't talk out loud because he's a ghost and he's just kind of monologuing so didn't really need it to add anything like lip flap wise um which would have been straight up impossible because he's transparent yeah we'll get more into that in a second but yeah so this one was more a matter of like all right how do i keep this interesting visually like where do i where do i sprinkle in the flashbacks for maximum effect to kind of cover the just Happy the lack of footage. The whole world rests on my emaciated shoulders. You think? Oh my god, it's really making it chug with these uh, effects. I'm gonna say there's a lot going on here, so it makes sense. Face it, what's the real world got to offer? Austin is slipping away. Tiff's got a family to look after. Who does that leave me with? Sugara. Why is this so like, Tiff's got a family. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Are like, you yeah. saying is he? It's like why is this so in his dick? Like right, dude. I'm very proud of us that we didn't make a joke about it. It was so hard it was to resist right that there. temptation because it's just like, yeah, it it changed. I think what stopped us is the fact that the placement of the soul changes in each shot. Like it's yeah. it's literally there's no yeah. consistency. It's just what is the most visually pleasing to the 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 anime director, and not what makes the most sense. So it's like yeah, this shot, okay, the heart, and then <laughs> from that other angle, like okay, it's the center of the screen. But it's just like you see that angle, and it's like, why is his soul in his penis? Like what? <laughs> it's, I, it's, it's because like <laughs> the shots. I cut out the beginning of it, but you know the at uh, the beginning of the shot, like Kirito isn't there and then fades in around the soul exactly. and, they, and they want the soul to be center of the frame and mm -hmm. 
if if it was in his chest, then Kirito would be weirdly off to one side, and that wouldn't be composed very well. So they, I guess they were like, this is good enough for one shot. And God forbid God we just damn. change our idea for the shot. <laughs> oh. Reminds me of... So fucking fun. We'll probably never have each other's backs like that again. This was well, also... Well, oh my god. Well, Writing this took a hot minute. Yeah. It, it's a whole thing of we... We know how Kirito's feeling, we know what his motivations are, we know where we want him to end up, and like, we know how we want the scene to end, and it's, it's like, okay, how do we express that in, like, the most concise way, without it being, like, fucking really long, and our point getting confusing, and it, it's, it's a whole fucking time, man. We, we had one version where we were like, oh, oh this is feeling... This is, you know, this is feeling a little bit too whiny. We were, we were worried, we were worried a little bit too much mm. that this was sort of like reversion of, uh, of the character. Yeah. Regression, yeah, yeah. I should say. Regression, yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, regression of Kirito's character was like one version of the speech where it was just like, that's not, that's not the tone we're going for. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't, you know, we don't want this to be, you know, Kirito like m bitches and moans. And then, you know, gets what he wants when Leafa comes in and saves him and continues to offer help, you know, offer him help. Yeah. Like we don't, we don't want this to come across as Kirito being like a whiny bitch. And then that's, you know, he gets his way. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like he throws a, a tantrum for the universe. Yeah. So there's, there's various different problems we had with different versions of this scene. Yeah. That was, this was a tough one. This was a tough mm -hmm. nut to crack. <laughs> Ooh, Yeah. Yeah, I had to, had to walk the right line so it didn't seem mm -hmm. too uh too whiny, too poor me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also not take forever. Some of the better versions were like, okay, but this is going on for fucking ever. Yeah, and we were like, and the thing is, if we cut out like one point, it doesn't really make sense how we got to the next one. So I, it needs like an entire fucking rework. And it was just like, oh. Yeah. Oh. Look who needs to come and save them! Fucking wellity, 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 wellity. I just love Lenin. Is that the wine? Yeah! You know what? What the Honestly, fuck is wellity? Like... <laughs> yeah. No thanks to you! I told you you wouldn't survive five minutes without. Oh my god! <laughs> Why are you thinking about dessert in a time like this? Move your ass! What do you think I've been trying to? I I love Zoomer Leafa. Like I fucking love her using slang and shit. It's always so funny to me. <laughs> Kirito's just like, ugh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like they're only a year apart, Eddie. <laughs> He acts like he is 20 years older than her. <laughs> Which is such a sibling thing, too, where it's like, that's dumb. You're doing a dumb thing because everybody else is doing it. And you're judging them for it. But it's like, bitch, like a year ago, you were saying shit because everybody else was saying it. Like, leave her alone. <laughs> like, it's like, no, it was different when I did it because shut up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> goddamn. So fucking funny. Oh, so uh, Sky Sep, pain receptor is not turned off; it's turned down. Yeah, yeah. not off, never mm -hmm. off. Yeah, when Kirito showed up, he said he barely felt that. Not that he didn't feel it; he just expected it to hurt a lot more. But you mm -hmm. know, like twenty percent of getting stabbed with an arrow still probably sucks. Yeah, yeah. Lenin, um, you are correct. I'm so surprised your neighbors weren't like, "What's going on in there?" <laughs> like. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> I I'm so excited for the fucking pain receptor jokes we have coming. Oh, we got some good shit. We're we're working hard on eighteen right now. It's uh, it's who is boy. the Tonker? <laughs> There's a lot there, yeah. Yup. Yup. I hope I hope we can condense it all into the one episode. 
Me too. Me too. Me three. Yup. Yup. It's gonna be a whole time. We're gonna do our best, but... Oh, gonna make sure everything that needs to be in there is in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back on your feet, soldier. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Had a tough time finding the right uh, sounds for a giant door moving, too. Really? Yeah. Couldn't, uh, couldn't find anything that sounded, like, massive enough. Had to do a lot of fiddling. Yeah, for the scraping. Kind of rumbling. Mm-hmm. The bigger rumbling. <gasps> the same, but bigger! Miz! Nice. Back on your feet, soldier. This was fun to design, too. I mean, yeah, this is fucking cute sand. Oh, boy. This was a whole time. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, goddamn. This Jesus. <laughs> Look at all the work I did. <laughs> I forgot how Holy many layers crap. there were here. For just... Back on your feet, soldier. <sighs> yeah, again, we're sorry about the the audio playback being a little weird. It's just it's premieres chugging. We're doing our best. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's it's not so, a stream thing. It's like I, I'm hearing it too, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not a streaming thing. That's just premiere chugs. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's. What the heck were you thinking? Flying off by yourself? You think you're some badass mother fudger who can do everything on your- Thank you for helping me out back there. There is perhaps a chance, small as it may be, that I may have jumped the gun. You don't say! Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I left you behind. Trust me, I am not gonna make that same mistake twice. Awesome! Good to hear! No! I guess we should head back into town and- Alright, let's get back in there. Wait, what? Where are you going? I thought you learned your lesson! Well, yeah, going in by myself was dumb, but it almost worked. If you and me try together, watching each other's backs, it'll be a snap. Aww, but no! That's still I not love that. Work. No one ever yeah. beats this yeah, thing her because being it like, just oh, so nice. No, shut up! Look, <laughs> I can't get distracted by the nice thing. Fuck you. I'm four guys. It's freaking idiot. Well, then we'll just have to be quick. Now, come on. We don't have much. Please, stop! Just shut your face. I'm telling you, the two of us aren't enough. You're just gonna keep getting hurt for no reason. She's in trouble. She needs my help. I have every reason. Gosh darn it, Kazuto! Why couldn't you ever fight for me this hard? <gasps> what did you just... Now you done it. Suku? Now you done done it. Oh no, oh, oh, no, no, no. Suku? Huh? Is, is that you? Ah! Uh, no, I blow Nihongo! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Suku, oh, wait! Oh, that's another <laughs> joke. I pitched, but unlike some of the other ones, mm -hmm. you fought me on this one. You were not yeah. certain on that. I was <laughs> like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I was so dead. I was like, no, no Hablo Nihongo is just great. Oh, and did you pitch that? I'm trying yeah, to remember. Yeah, I 100% I pitched that one. I, I don't I remember 100%. that. I remember, I, I remember pitching Bale, I think. Yeah, you, I think yeah. you might have. Yeah, I do, but I 100% was no hablo nihongo, and Terry, you were just like not like I don't know about that one. I don't. Oh, mm, I don't know. Because no. I remember fighting for it, but no, it might I, have been both of y'all against me, and that's how it ended up in the episode. Because I'm like, oh, I don't know, but y'all were like, yeah, no, it's fine. No, that is that is one I definitely remember pitching and okay. being very proud of the mm. awful, awful mixture of languages. <laughs> Hell yeah. So fucking... <laughs> I remember I was 
struggling a little with this scene too. Yes. Because it's, it's a whole timing thing, especially because like in, in the original, it's the whole thing of her liking him and it's like, mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was trying to like figure out like, this is this a big deal? Like this is the reveal? Like how do we do this? Like, oh. Fuck. It's tricky. It was tricky. I'm proud of what we got though. Very proud. <laughs> We're absolutely dreading doing this scene because this had so much like reworking. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're not okay. going to go into details. Just yeah. we had earlier visions of where the scene was going to go and build up to, mm. and it was it was too much. It was it was way hey, too much. You uh um, in there? Glad that right? Carrie, yeah. Oh, hey. it, Izzy Izzy cool. and I had cool. a very different idea, mm. and thankfully so, Carrie and some other friends of ours talked us out of it. You, but, yeah. Uh, it uh, got a, a little too questions heavy. Questions rattling around the old dome. If you if you thought this version know. was devastating, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, what's going no. on here? Did you know it was me the entire time? And since when do you even play video games? I thought you said that was, and I quote, "stupid nerd shit." Did did you go out and buy an atmosphere just to fuck with me? You were at the hospital. You can't possibly still think she's not real. Was all of this some elaborate prank? Or are you just so cruel that you can never let me be happy? Do you really hate me that much? <gasps> How could I hate you? I don't... I don't even know you anymore. You just left me. On that. You oh. left me all alone. Beautiful. We used yeah. to be very best. careful about uh, like writing dialogue that would fit it. <laughs> yep. No, yep. Had to make some some course corrections in the lip flaps here and there, but didn't have to yeah. do it for every single frame, thankfully. Yeah. yeah. This, but this was one that was almost like dubbing. I think I, I seem to recall showing this footage because it's yeah, so, there's such specific timing. Yeah, for sure. So. Oh. Yeah, is 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 he still got to go in there and do that to be editing? Just like more you. so, or like, or less so, so editing than usual. When Grandpa wanted to that teach you Kendo, so mm -hmm. it made me want to learn too. K oh boy, Kendo? What does Kendo have to do with? Grandpa never wanted to train me. He was only ever interested in his grandson. So when you got bored and ditched me to go work on your dumb computers, I had to man up. For you! <laughs> he did everything he could to get me to quit. To prove it wasn't good enough. But I hung in there hoping you'd come back. So we could be like we were. I tried to make it seem fun so you'd realize what you were missing. But you just shut me out. All you cared about were those stupid games. Hey, come on. That's not fair. It was mom's idea to have me learn coding instead. Oh, don't give me that bullshit! You didn't even try to fight her on it! These last couple of days, all I've seen you do is fight for what you care about! So what? <laughs> was it me? Was I just not worth the effort? I used from to be so mm -hmm. close. I actually had to Maybe think of sad things to actually cry and get upset. I'm glad it worked. So how dare you accuse <laughs> me of hating you when you <laughs> right never there. gave a shit Fucking about acting. me! That I so good. had no idea. <sighs> Just leave me alone. You've had enough practice. This holding on the shot and then having the fucking patron show up was all Izzy. I remember yeah, I, seeing the version and being like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, <laughs> like, I was like, "Okay, you know, it, you I was like, fuck." I was, <laughs> like, I was expecting it to be like this silent and quiet, but I was waiting for it to like fade out and the something witty logo comes up and it's just yeah, like, it's blending. But you holding on just mm -hmm. devastated Kirito by the door is just like. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> it's just framed too perfectly. How could I not? 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not to mention what we've got planned for the beginning of next episode. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I, I remember things were really, really important to us. Like things that we talked like at length about when we were like writing the scenes. We were like, okay, so like this is what we know each of their like childhoods was and what mm -hmm. it was like from their each of their perspectives. So this is like how they feel and like just what what they went through, like what their hardship was. And we were really, really careful of being like, neither of them is right and neither of them is wrong. They yeah. both just hurt each other. Like there isn't, there isn't a good guy or a bad guy. They're just siblings who have like drifted apart and didn't realize how much they hurt each other. There's a whole thing that we were like, we have to be super careful because it's really tempting to be like, well, she's, being kind of a bitch, he should fucking say something to her. <laughs> like, you're so excited was, shit. Like, yeah, yeah. That was especially with, like, yo, you've yeah. got Kirito being the protagonist. He's uh -huh. He is the audience surrogate, ostensibly. So it's very easy to just always be on his side. Yeah. That was a big thing mm -hmm. of making sure we had this, like, you know, okay, let's, let's look at her perspective and mm -hmm. how do we make it so that people can see, like, N you know, neither one is fully in the right or wrong here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember the the gradual feeling because the beginning of the scene, Kirito obviously starts off really angry because he's in a place of like, "What the fuck is this? Like, what are you doing?" And then like she comes out and starts to explain her stuff, and he's still kind of in not taking accountability mode. He like not taking any kind of like blame, and he's like trying to like shift the quitting Kendo over to the mom. And then she's like, don't fucking try that shit. It's, and then eventually he lands in a place of like, I had no idea. And it's like, oh, oh it's beautiful. Another it sibling was, thing is oh. I like that they both, they both come to the worst conclusion as yeah. their go-to of like, why? So like, when yeah. she figured out it was him, she's just like, oh, he's tracked me down and he's here just to like, fuck with me. And he finds out and his first thought is, you like actually like bought a console just so you could follow me into this game and be a bitch to me. Like what the fuck? Mm -hmm. And it makes sense because uh -huh. yeah, they don't know. They don't know each other's experiences. So they would just assume the worst. Like, Oh, I'm very all proud I've of been us. seeing for the longest time is the worst of each other. Oh, yeah. I'm very proud of us. I'm very, very proud of us that we really, really thought about stuff and tried to be super careful with shit. Grudge might have paid yeah. off, yeah. Right? Oh my god. And like, especially because like, what Mac was saying, like, we we want to be on Kirito's side and that's not always where you should be. <laughs> like, He's a flawed guy. He makes a lot yeah. of mistakes. Mm-hmm. Especially our version. Yeah. Our version's Kind of a dickhead. Mm -hmm. oh, like he's he's a, he's a good boy, but he's a dickhead. He's a complicated character the whole time. <laughs> he's trying. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's gotten better, but <laughs> yeah. but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but just Lennon absolutely killing it. Oh my god. Again, again Dude. very oh. very complicated, like crazy scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember us being really proud of like just leave me alone you've had enough practice like all of us being like oh oh my god <laughs> like, that's gonna fucking... sting <laughs> write it down <laughs> like fucking <laughs> oh dude we tell them about like in when we first showed this episode <laughs> how like mean <laughs> we were <laughs> oh my god yeah. okay alright yeah for, po for posterity <laughs> Let's yeah. let's describe the premiere, <laughs> the tenth anniversary stream premiere <laughs> of this episode, which we don't we don't often indulge in April Fool's jokes. Mm. But boy, howdy, was this a beautiful opportunity? Oh, because yeah, our <laughs> our ten year anniversary is on the twenty eighth of March, right? Twenty ninth, I think. Twenty eighth, twenty ninth. It was right around the end. Maybe 28th? Yeah. Fuck. Gotcha. I think I think it was the 28th. But uh, yeah. You, you keep talking, I'll check. I'll double check it to be certain. Oh, 29th. Yeah. Oh, sick. There you go. Hell yeah. But no, right. we were like, okay, so our, our 10th anniversary celebration is going to be us 
watching every episode of SAOA so far. And then we put out an ad being like, and there's going to be like a special surprise. Like, well, like, hang around. And we were like, they're all going to assume it's 17. That's what they're all going to assume. Yeah. Well, we had another out. video finished. We had another video ready to go that we wanted to hit them with. And we were like, we're going to hang out this amount of time. They're all going to be waiting for SAO 17. And then we're going to hit them with smartphone abridged. <laughs> <laughs> that'll that'll be that'll be on YouTube later this year. Mm -hmm. You know, we it was it was a Patreon thing that we promised years ago, so we it only made sense to leave it as a Patreon exclusive for you know a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, so yeah, I've been know, working on that for years. Yup. First, something what do you think? I I had nothing to do with uh, writing wise. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, and, nothing to do with it writing wise. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I voiced uh, in it, but nope. It was yeah. all Izzy, Spencer, and Jace. And five years. <laughs> five years you were working on that thing. Uh, on and off. Now, yep. Not five years constantly, but just... Yeah. Like, there, there were so many long chunks of it just kind of sitting there and no one really making progress on it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Occasionally I'm, coming back to it being like, we, we need to... We need to progress on it, man. This, we need to, we need to find a, time to do more. <laughs> this is something we literally promised the Patreon people. I was like, do, do we really even remember that that was the thing we promised? It doesn't matter. We promised it. <laughs> uh-huh. Like, oh, my God. But, yeah. So, we're like, we're going to show them smartphone. And they're going to be so angry. And a lot of them are going to leave. And it's going to be so funny. Because right after that, we're going to hit them with SAO 17. And then they're, they're going to be, be so really, happy. really happy. And then the ending of the episode's gonna happen, and they're gonna be angry at us again. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, Boo, thank let's go on an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Woo! Thank you so much for your ten years of loyalty. Take this, <laughs> like yeah. goddamn. Especially <laughs> so monsters. mean, right? It, like what the fuck? And it only got funnier the longer that stream went for, because that mm -hmm. went way longer than we anticipated. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it was like. Because we started at 2 p.m. And I think we wrapped at like 3 a.m. Like, it was ridiculous. Like, oh my god. It was so good. It was so good. And just the entire chat just being like, That's how it ends? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it ends. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's going to take a hot minute for the next one possibly longer than usual because yeah we are still currently writing it and it's going to be a chonk boy it might be a two-parter depending on how chonky it is but we're gonna yeah. do our best to just have it be one episode if we can yeah the at the very least if it is a two-parter mm -hmm. and the two parts will be written that's the thing is we're not gonna make that call until we finished the story we're going to finish this thing and then reevaluate. We need to like restructure this as two episodes, or do we go ahead with the one? So mm -hmm. that's the thing. That is the good news is when we say the script is done, you know, that is the end of this arc. That might be one episode done. That might be two episode scripts done. <laughs> oh, we'll see what fucking happens, boys. Yeah. I really Plus like we what we have to... so far, though. We got some good yes. shit. Yes. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. so happy with the script uh -huh. so far. And uh, also very excited about the next episode of Maha. We uh, we went we went pretty wild with <sighs> Maha 4. Oh, my God. Oh! Again, I'm wrapping up bloopies, and I'm about to start editing. I've started going through lines and whatnot for that. But, oh, my God. I cannot fucking wait. I can't <laughs> wait. I'm so proud of Maha 4. I still, oh. I, I still need to record for Maha 4, which has... So does Izzy. The, and Izzy's yeah. gonna die. <laughs> like, oh my god, gonna... yeah. Ooh. So much screaming. So much mm -hmm. screaming. I'm just excited because some of my favorite Eda lines so far are episode 4. Like, oh my you... god. I oh, can't wait. We, we, we went wild with all the characters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, speaking of Maha, I need y'all to know that Izzy gave me a Mina sh shirt for my birthday, and it's perfect. It's beautiful, and I love him so much. <laughs> like, it's such a good gift. I I'm love glad it. you like it. 
He also somehow found a shirt that had Bakugo and Kyo from Fruits Basket on it. And I'm like, who knows me? Who made me this shirt specifically <laughs> for me? <laughs> like... I made this shirt and then sold it on Redbubble so I could buy it. I wouldn't be fucking surprised, bitch. Like, <laughs> oh. It made me so happy. Oh, Haster. Mineta's not Christian. I'm gonna say, why are you assuming that? Yeah. <laughs> and who I can... Yeah. We still have like 30 <laughs> minutes left, so I can... Is Boy Macaroni, y'all have anything specific you want to talk about with this episode? We got another half hour to, to kill, mm -hmm. so... Well, let's see. What else can we talk about with this episode? Yeah. And also, y'all got any questions? Yeah. Oh, yeah any any go. questions would be good. Yeah. yeah. Is Lanny Pator going to voice Death Gun? Uh, mm -hmm. we, we're, yeah, we haven't done casting that. And I can say we haven't talked to him about mm -hmm. it. So that's That has not been a serious conversation. Need to watch the season, figure out what we want to do, figure out who yeah. that character is going to be, and then see if it's a fit. Mm -hmm. I is, yeah. Izzy and I have an idea for Death Gun, no, but let's see how that actually fits. Any. Yeah, I haven't seen anything, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll hope, hopefully come up with some good stuff when when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> will we be seeing smartphone too? No, <laughs> no, we will not. <laughs> no. You Saying you us. went a bit crazy after Maha Three is incredibly ominous. What? Ridiculous. It's just, you know, Akago goes off is all I'm going to say. Oh, my God. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, Chase has recorded like two thirds of that, but he has the most insane shit still <laughs> left to do. And I cannot wait. Uh... Oh, you planning on a, a few more emotional gut punches in 18? Probably. Who's to say? <laughs> like we're gonna warn you in advance. Yeah, we're not gonna tell <laughs> you. <laughs> My god. <laughs> smartphone 1 was amazing. We need Smartphone 2. I don't know. We'll see what happens in five years, I guess. <laughs> yeah, right? Goddamn. <laughs> I won't. I won't do it. Really? You can't make I'm sure. me. I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna make you. They just... Seem to really want smartphone too, is he? Do you want to disappoint I, them? And I, <laughs> the cost is too great. <laughs> you, again, pe people have made the mistake of saying, like, oh, something Woody hates sword art, and we don't. No, no. But man, do we hate no, no, no. smartphone? <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. you I'm... showed me an episode of that. You showed me one episode of that, and that was the most painful anime viewing experience of my fucking life it's oh. such a non-story it's so frustratingly terrible from a narrative like standpoint it's fuck that franchise <laughs> yes it's bad it's real I've, bad it is I've, oh I've never hated a protagonist more he's so boring just... Ashi, I can, Ashi Shoji, speaking of, they said, if you guys come to Yoma, I'm going to be asking for more smartphone. We really want to go to Yoma. We yeah. put out a tweet uh, can, that's like a YomaCon guest request form. If y'all want us to go to Yoma, fill that shit in and ask them to can, invite us because we would love to go. Like, let's fucking go. <laughs> would appreciate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Are you planning to abridge the SEO Extra Edition movie, at least the non-recap parts? Uh, we'll have to watch that one with Carrie. I mm. I had a joke for that, but I don't know if that's enough to justify making that. It's it's very much a it's a clip show episode, so like I don't you know. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if the non-recap stuff is like enough material. <laughs> mm. Or at least interesting enough material. That's fair. Have you considered mentioning the Kirito slash Sugu romance in the original series? We ha we have small nods to it <laughs> and how we kind of feel about it. Like the fucking, I have no idea how you seduced our fair princess. And then her being like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. Just vomiting in yeah. her mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit I in mean, there, but like, yeah. Early in writing, we did consider, you know, 
going ahead with that because that was the two approaches was we either go super hard away from it and like don't at all use it or you do that abridging parody thing and just lean into it and make it a thousand times worse and like more uncomfortable Mm -hmm. and there was that debate of okay which is funnier which would we like to fucking have to deal with for X number of years? Yeah. Because we are a parody show, after all. Hmm. Yeah. So there is a certain mm. argument there. But also, but at the I, same don't wanna. Time. I don't yeah. wanna. I don't wanna. really kind of where we were at. <laughs> yeah. And of a similar energy, there was also, early on, the talk of, you know, whether to not just go full Garlic Jr. with, uh, with this yeah. arc. Yeah, we were we were seriously talking about skipping. We were like, oh, but just taking taking that page out of the TFS playbook and just like, <sighs> let's condense this into an episode and just get the fuck on with our lives because holy shit, fairy dance sucks. But then we were like, we like figured out the whole thing of like, okay, but what if it's like a sibling story, like a story about siblings? And then we also started talking about all the D and D references we could make and all the fucking role play bullshit, and we were like. Nah, we'd have way too much fun with all this stupid stuff we want to do. Let's just fucking do it. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Are you going to abridge ordinal scale? That is our current plan. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It's part of the canon. Uh, yeah. got, got some very it's fun ideas. Doing there's, everything there's chronologically, right? Yeah. 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 That's that's a way. That's a little ways off. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I. I've already got some fun ideas for ordinal, ordinal scale just from when we watched it in theaters. Yeah. <laughs> Lil- Lily is tilted. That's also one of my favorite jokes. <laughs> I just wanted peace between the races. <laughs> Your <laughs> mad, mad dreams in here, Travis. Travis. <laughs> you banished. It's like I don't. Well, we're not on. We're not the good guys here, are we? In <laughs> this <I>, character. <sighs> I don't, I don't know if I pitched peace between oh. the races, but I definitely wanted Mad Dreams because that was yeah that I was remember me, that that, mm-hmm. that that whole energy is mm-hmm. me riffing on a um uh, an old uh, a sketch I can't find it it used to be on YouTube and I can't find it anymore uh, it was a like sketch comedy thing that Dan Harmon the guy who did Community and is one of the main forces on Rick and Morty. Mm. He did a thing way before that called Acceptable TV. And my okay. favorite of the Acceptable TV sketches was Homeless James Bond. Oh my god. And it's <laughs> What the, the fuck? The, yeah, it's it's just all the like James, uh, trappings of a James Bond adventure except it's from the perspective of homeless people. And so they have a villain in the first episode of Homeless James Bond is just a guy who's stealing all the cans in the area. So he could turn them into money. And it's just, he's like doing the villain plot. And the homeless James Bond is like, what you're doing is banking. And it's just something homeless people don't do. Ah, but you see, Mr. Bond, soon I will turn these cans into currency. And then I will no longer be homeless. Soon I will be poor! <laughs> <laughs> That's a and, great joke. And, <laughs> and Bond... Sketch. Homeless James Bond reaches for the self-destruct button, which is just the tape holding the fort together, and he rips it, and suddenly the cans collapse on top of the villain, and his dying words are, No! Consumed by my mad dreams! (laughs) (laughs) Of opening a bank. (laughs) Not Not even opening a bank, just... Getting enough money to buy a shitty apartment. Well, he was accusing him of banking. Oh yeah, yeah. well yeah, like banking, banking yeah. with the other homeless people. Like he's he was convincing them to give him the the cans. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love that, especially because like everything with Travis and like fucking Casimir, we like seated earlier. Mm-hmm. So when he's being all like fucking. <laughs> What I do, I do for the good of us all. And we're like, oh, I can't fucking wait for people to understand that shit. <laughs> like, it's fucking... Right? Because it just sounds like bad guy oh. posturing. Like, yeah, he smoke up his own ass. Oh. But it's like, oh, no, he he actually, he meant that. Oh, no. Yeah. He just wanted to hang out with his friends, man. Like, he just wanted to stop the war. Yeah. Oh, it's so stupid. Yeah. Damn it. 
I, I even I'm even searching like acceptable TV and I found like their YouTube channel and they don't have homeless James Bond on there. It's, I, I oh I love I love both the sketches. They only made two of that particular sketch, but I remember loving both of them. <laughs> Hell yeah! Soon I will be poor. <laughs> It's also great that it's Dan Harmon screaming that line. He is the guy who says, No, consumed by my mad dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's outstanding. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. I, um, so yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't know if I, if I pitched, uh, fucking the, um, I just want peace between the races, but I just wanted that energy for your mad dreams end here, Travis. <laughs> like, it's why is that a mad dream? It's it's so so perfectly reasonable. Mm hmm. God. And holy shit, yeah! Thank you, person in chat saying they found it on Daily Motion. I just checked. That is one hundred percent homeless James Bond. Hell uh, yeah! On Daily Motion. Let's go! Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all got any other questions or thoughts? You ask us questions. I'm sorry. I Let's just, go. I just no, played, you're good. I just played it for two seconds and I forgot about their version of the gun barrel sequence. <laughs> it's just a shitty piece of cardboard sliding across the screen. And, and instead of turning and firing his gun, homeless James Bond picks up a bottle and hurls it at the guy. Oh. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Lord thank Michael. They said this episode was amazing. Oh, absolute preach. Well, this well, is on YouTube. YouTube. The, yes, we were. We'll be. We'll be ending this just like the other postmortems. Yeah. Hey. Oh, looks like we got. Did uh, you couple enjoy Gornal Skill? <laughs> looks oh, like we got a is? couple of donations. Uh, <gasps> that we're not uh, oh. popping up apparently. Oh heck! Uh, oh no! Yeah, Ed Boink. I donated ten dollars, saying couldn't donate during the Sweebathon. God damn it, because it was late <laughs> in Ireland and I had to work in Fair. the morning. Uh, but late can, uh, but late. Congrats on ten years. Hope y'all are doing Aww. well and love episode seventeen. Aww, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, We're doing wonderful. Yeah. Launched comic thirty one. Donated five dollars, uh, saying. Hey guys, really excited to get into the analysis of episode 17. Just wanted to let you know that I've been watching SAO Bridge since episode 1. And even oh. though I have had some tough times, your videos have always been what I use to cheer myself up. Oh, That's thank you. so lovely. Glad we could help. Oh my gosh. And then they also donated $10 saying, uh, you know, after watching the entirety of regular SAO and comparing it to your work, I was worried about a certain calamari-related scene and how you would approach ah. it. Uh, but the way you handled it was so good, and uh, I am excited for wh uh, whenever you get to Alicization. Oh, one day. Oh it will God. probably be in, like, our 60s or 70s once we get there. It's gonna be whole time. Uh, Joyless Burrito gave us a dollar. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Elijah gave us two donations of five dollars. Uh, oh, just thank to let you, you so all much. know that the the day after the premiere, both my parents came to me and asked why I was laughing so hard at three a.m. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> and are you guys gonna do a sweepathon for the next episode too? No, no. Probably. No. I mean, maybe. No, we are not. What's wrong with the Sweebathon? It's too much. We can't do that every episode. That's like a once every decade thing. It's very true. That did get really out of hand. We never expect anything like the Sweebathon to happen ever again, which it definitely was the Sweebathon, not the 10 year anniversary stream. It was a Sweebathon. That's no. No. <laughs> That's not what it was. It's a little bit what it was. Yeah. I'll kill you. I don't. We'll probably do the, the same thing we always do with our new episodes where we will heckin' put it on YouTube and then YouTube will be like, nah, -ah, bitch, and then it'll be in copyright jail. And then we'll show it on Twitch and then it'll be up on Patreon. That's the usual procedure, so that's that's the plan. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
so yeah, I can keep a close eye on the our YouTube community tab and uh, Twitter, and whenever we're doing that, we let y'all know. Also, go go time. I need to ask yeah. some questions in chat, so I'm gonna scroll back and see. Any other abridgers you would love to have cameo? I think we've been lucky enough that almost all the abridgers we've asked to be in our stuff have been in it. Yeah, we're um pretty right? close. I yeah. mean, we're very. I'm very excited about the one that we got f coming up for the next Maha. Yeah. Oh my God! Right. I cannot believe that that worked. <laughs> that that's happening. <laughs> <sighs> Be a good time, like, dude. We're. I also. I. I can't fucking believe that we got perps to come back for being the teacher. Right. Like, the amount that I expect him to be like, no. I'm an adult now. I have a wife and two children. I'm not going to come back and play a thumbless teacher for you. <laughs> <Like> <laughs> and he's like, nah, man, just tell me when. Let's go. I'll tell you when my wife and kids are out of the house. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. <laughs> Damn. Level 20 Paladin asks, can you add episode 17 to the SOA YouTube playlist? Oh, it's oh, not on there? I it's not on? Oh, damn. Whoops. Heck. Oh, thanks for that. We didn't notice. Yeah, uh, thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Did you guys enjoy Ordinal Scale? Yes. Yes, we enjoy Ordinal Scale. We should make Izzy's birthday a Sweebathon. Good luck. Izzy's birthday is December 22nd. <laughs> you can't do it. Got all the nope. shit going on, so ha! <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Take that. Yeah. I don't uh, think I ever understood the cupcakes metaphor Reckon gave Leafa. What? Cupcake metaphor? It's not a metaphor. She just baked some cupcakes. Yeah. 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 She made she made him yeah. actual cupcakes. She yeah. was ashamed of doing something as girly as baking. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. No metaphor there. Just straight up baked some cupcakes because she likes she likes doing it and she likes it. <laughs> but she's embarrassed about it. Mm hmm. <laughs> A giant pinwheel deserves a redemption arc. <laughs> what did the pinwheel do that it needs to be redeemed? Yeah, what the heck? Yeah. Oh, God. But baking is its own reward. I mean, exactly. you understand yeah. that. She doesn't. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we're not saying that baking is girly. We're just saying that she thinks it is and is therefore embarrassed by it. Yeah. Like, it's stupid. <laughs> we're also saying that, yeah, we're not also not saying that girly things are inherently bad. She's yeah. just hung up on that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's her problem. Yeah. <laughs> like, just so y'all know. Yeah. Uh, oh, immacularity. Uh, Didn't get the oh, giant pinwheel like joke. Why was there a giant pinwheel? What was the significance of the pinwheel? Did I miss something? It was just a tourist attraction that was really ugly. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're not as clever as you guys think we are. <laughs> you give <laughs> us too much credit. <laughs> like, there's no deeper a metaphor. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> no deeper meaning behind the pinwheel other than it's a gross tourist attraction. <laughs> yeah, it's just something tacky that ruins this otherwise beautiful view. Yeah. And I do I do love when I see that, because there, there are times where it's like, oh, wow, I'm glad that someone, like, read between the lines and saw what we were doing with that character. And then there's other stuff where people are like, oh, my God, look at this brilliant thing something Witty did. And we're sitting there like, yeah. Yeah. That was yeah, no, we did that. Yeah, we thought of that, for mm -hmm. sure. Nailed it. Yeah. Absolutely. What we intended from the start. <laughs> Which has completely, that's completely changed my view on, like, major director like now i can't help but picture like when you see like some critic who's like oh yes this shot choice and this particular placement and, and pacing and the editing you know it very much evokes this particular feeling and it's just like has that ever happened where just like steven spielberg and martin scorsese are just sitting there like yes that's 100 percent what we did <laughs> You, you absolutely nailed it, Mr. Ebert. Just mm -hmm. eyes darting to the side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really symbolic of the degradation of society. <laughs> yeah. 
Sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad you picked up on that. Yep. Mm-hmm. We uh, yep. We 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 went to film school. We know what's up. Um, this was a question I grabbed earlier and forgot to ask. Uh, Ray no Xavier Shaver. What's the media that defined your sense of humor? Simpsons, be drama. Uh, Monty Python <laughs> as well. Yeah. yeah. South Park. South Park a little bit. No. Um, the South Happy Park Tree movie. Friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was probably the moment in my life when I realized that ultra violence was hysterical when done it's to really so cute things. It, oh, God. It's so <laughs> funny, but so upsetting. <laughs> that knowledge never left my brain, and I'm mm-hmm. probably worse for it. Oh. Um, again, even pre-acceptable TV, Dan Harmon's earliest stuff with Channel 101 was a big thing for me in high school. Mm. That's like pre-YouTube. Channel 101 was like one of the first like comedy video things I saw, and that, that was a big uh, influence. Um, to a lesser degree, you know, just like enjoying like dumb puns and, and, and wordplay. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I, I really enjoy fucking... Uh, Old, old Canadian comedy duo, Wayne and Schuster. I've heard of them. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard y'all talk about them before. Yeah, they, uh, some, uh, you know, some, some good bits. I, I haven't seen everything they did, but I, I had like a, um, I had like a VHS tape and then later a DVD of like, uh, an anniversary special they did. So it was kind of like a compilation of some of their best bits. Mm-hmm. Like they they do an entire baseball game, except it's in like Shakespearean language. It's just like okay. a lot of like weird like Shakespeare puns. And, oh wow! And, uh, it, and there's instead of the Scarlet Pimpernel, they did the Brown Pumpernickel, like dumb jokes like uh, that. <laughs> That's yeah. cute. Which has probably one of my favorite lines of theirs. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. Beware, minister. I don't think this man is as stupid as he looks. No man could possibly be that stupid. Damn. <laughs> Heckin, if someone just brought up Heckin Mel Brooks, I watched a lot of, like, silly movies. Like, I watched so much Men in Tights. So much Men in Tights. Like, oh my god. Men in Tights came later. <sighs> For me, the Mel Brooks mm-hmm. movie that, like, my parents owned was Young Frankenstein. I watched that one so yeah, many times. Yeah, that's a good fucking time. It's like a lot of like comedy movies. Like I watched a lot of like fucking Liar Liar, like Mrs. Doubtfire, The Mask. Like it's just a lot of like comedy like that. Yeah, that I Jim, really enjoyed when I was a kid. Jim Carrey Wayne's was World. Oh my a big god. influence. So much Wayne's World. Yeah. Oh. All that good stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> god. I... Yeah, but definitely mostly Simpsons P drama for yeah. me at least. For those sure. are the those are the formative ones for sure. Mm-hmm. Used to be able to quote like every episode of The Simpsons by right. heart. Oh my god! Right. <laughs> oh. Now it's just your favorites. Like. Oh yeah. You you only move yeah. twice. <laughs> oh. What a good episode. Some of the choice quotes uh, stick around. Yeah. Like Barney <laughs> just be. <laughs> It begins! <laughs> My favorite was when we were showing the Discord our favorite episodes, and that was in one of them, and we were just like, is that why we say that? Like, we didn't even remember that that was where it came from. I just like, we forgotten. <sighs> Dude, the amount that me and you quote the fucking behind the laughter. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I thought the cop, the cop was, was, a a was a prostitute. <laughs> the fucking crossing his arms satisfied nod like great I finally set the record straight I just I mean even like even stronger than that again back to the it begins with Homer the astronaut mm-hmm. I love I love the visual gag of of Barney grabbing the jetpack you know drunkenly flying the jetpack and slamming with full force and skidding Across oh. the super ru- rough rooftop that then pans out to show it's a pillow factory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Dude, <laughs> and then them going back to the fucking scientists just being like, I don't understand. It was a non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> like, just, yeah. <laughs> the champagne was non-alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, it was champagne, yeah. <laughs> non-alcoholic champagne. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> great. Oh, uh, fucking brilliant, oh. brilliant show. It's so good. Oh my god. Oh, Tintin. Yeah. I I I I loved. Um, you know, someone was saying they they really loved Tintin. I I couldn't find English translations of the comics for the longest time. So, the comics. My sister, who could speak French, would translate the Tintin books to me. Oh. Yeah, that and and Blake and Mortimer was a that was another like French comic. Um, it's very Tintin. It, it's like a much more serious a version of Tintin. Mm. It's um a weird. It's a weird art style. It's the farther away it gets, the more sort of like Hergé Tintin it looks, like more cartoony. Mm. But that's wide shots. Medium shots is like slightly more detailed. And then the extreme close-ups, you get like super realistic, detailed like eyes and stuff. So it's just like, depending on how far away the camera is from a subject in a mm. Blake and Mortimer comic, changes the art style, but it somehow blends. It's it's very hard to like ex- describe it. It's it's very unique. Um, oh yeah, I I loved Blake and Mortimer books. Lucky Luke, a lot of those you know uh, Asterix and Obelix. Those oh, my sister that. would translate a bunch oh. of those. And oh. thankfully, though, I did have English language versions of the cartoon dubs. So I had oh, yeah. fucking VHS Lucky Luke in Daisy Town. Aww. One of the Asterix cartoons, I can't... Uh, I think it's Conquers America. I think that's the one. And all the time they were showing the Tintin cartoon. Which I'm sad that theme wasn't in the Steven Spielberg movie. That's that's what I think of when I think of Tintin is that opening theme from the '90s cartoon. That's a fucking bop. <laughs> oh, again, Wildman has a good question. He said, when you're putting together an episode, do you tend to more write the script and try to get the episode to work with it, or do you use the episode as a guide to the script? Oh, we definitely d- use the episode as a guide. Yep. Yeah. We just sometimes we couldn't do it any other way. A little bit. <laughs> yep. Like we. There's some rearranging go, every now and then if we have yeah. like a serious problem with it, but... Yeah. But a lot of the time it'll be us going through, like, the episode and then, like, a scene, like, shot for shot, watching it over and over and over again, figuring out what we can do, what we can't do, how things are going to lead, like, from one thing to the next. And, yeah, we... Yeah. <laughs> We've occasionally <laughs> written jokes where we're like, oh, we're going to need it. We're going to need animation for that. And it's going to be like, it's worth it. <laughs> it must be done. Do it. It's gotta be done. Heckin' is boy. Yeah. Uh, Heckin, just going back to like this episode. What like did you spend the longest on this episode? Like, what do you think was like the hardest thing for you to do that you spent like the most time on? Hmm. Most time on. It might. I feel like I was in that tree tube for a really long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very specific audio. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, just trying. Like, a lot of it wasn't even, like, effects work. It was just going through all of the footage and figuring out how to, like, block everything out. Like, which mm-hmm. which shots am I going to use where? What can I cut? Like, because you don't want to use the entire fight scene that would drag immensely. Like, it would it would make the episode way longer. And, like... Okay, but if I cut stuff, characters flying around all over the place. We want to make sure that, you know, the the continuity still makes sense. So trying to figure out which shots could blend together, like, the most seamlessly and what would, what would kind of look the best and most interesting. What, like, which, uh, which shots kind of flowed interestingly with, like, how I was already reading the line. Mm-hmm. Kind of like like what? where I was where I was putting emphasis where it could be like okay so like I'm emphasizing that term so maybe like this is where Kirito is swinging his sword kind of thing mm-hmm. and just it's planning just, all it... of that out took a really long time which is so funny because we already spend such a long time during scripting mm-hmm. to, like make sure like okay you cut here you cut there do uh, especially with fight scenes. Mind. Oh my god, yeah, if it's if it's like a are... scene of like people just like sitting and talking, that's like, oh okay. Nothing. We don't want yeah. this to drag on for too long, but we don't have any 
big hiccups editing wise with like a constantly moving fight scene we have to be so careful so like, like we already ooh. spent so much time with it during the writing and then you having to like get into the nitty gritty of it during editing it just mm -hmm. really... yeah. also we, we I, just... i've seen people i want to set the record straight on this people have mistakenly said you just play the entire fight scene from the like no. Kirito versus Kirito versus um, no. Uh, no. Kaiba uh, no. fight at the end of uh, our season one, halfway through the original series season one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, you absolutely trimmed that down and just mm -hmm. sort of you know like found some places to nip and tuck on that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But like, yeah, you've that's what you're doing with every fight scene. But I've seen people make that claim that you just played the fight scene unedited and it's, you spend a lot of time uh oh, yeah. finessing yeah. that <laughs> i mean on a that's certain also... level oh, on a certain no, level no. i'm i'm glad that's the impression they get because it means that oh, it's, yeah. it doesn't look awkward yeah absolutely. i mean absolutely i just <laughs> yeah i just absolutely i just want to make sure people appreciate how much time you put into that and that you mm -hmm. didn't just like slap in the fight scene to go ah, well, have my job's done one of my favorite things that i think is like interesting about abridging in general because like yeah you get like different audiences you get like people who are like fans of like the original anime and then they'll like come and watch ours or you get people who are just like watching ours like for like it's their only impression of sword art and it's the same for like other shows like schmuck stuff and like heck and project mouthwash stuff and it's really funny especially like talking to logan where he'll be like yeah i get occasional comments where people are like a, uh, a 25 minute episode i thought this was abridged bruh and then it's like there are five episodes of the original <laughs> anime in this fucking episode. It is abridged. Like, it's so funny that people fully forget, like, the pacing and what happened in, like, the source material when they're watching the abridged. And it's like, cool. I guess we yeah. got smooth storytelling going because y'all ain't noticing. <laughs> like, there, there, again, we have one episode in ours where we kind of yeah. fall into actually not doing that, and that yeah, bugs me. That was bad. That was but bad. Aside from, yeah. but aside from that one, which it's just that's a load bearing episode. That's a very, for a lot of, that's just we had to establish a lot of stuff that was important for later episodes. Mm -hmm. That was kind of a grin and bear it. Like, that's the only way we could do that for our tone and our, our style. Mm -hmm. Um, but aside from that episode, yeah, the, like, half-hour episodes are, like, two or three episodes at a time. Oh. Mm-hmm. Like, mm -hmm. we were combining shit. <laughs> yeah, we're doing our best. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, definitely, I think this, this whole sequence took the most time. <laughs> planning, oh. planning everything out. Because, yeah, I remember we were... We were careful about, like, what we thought, like, could work, but we didn't have any specific shots in mind. Just a general, mm -hmm. like, there's something in there that'll work for this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, I, I had a couple different versions of, like, how this kind of fight scene progressed that I ended up uh, deciding on this one. Uh, Dude, it's fucking beautiful. You did such yay. a good job. I'm always mm -hmm. impressed with your editing. Like, oh, my God. You, I'm impressed with yours. Bitch! They're both what I so do is a, a lesser version of what you do. Like, get out of here! You're learning so much so quickly! <laughs> You've been doing- you haven't been doing this kind of editing as long as he has. Mm. That's different. Also, your show's a lot harder to edit than his. Mm. For all the problem, I- we really should do a post-mortem on Maha 3. Yeah. Man... <laughs> Man, oh man, the we were fucking you were you were absolutely given the baptism of a fire sink or swim oh. of the two shows. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> and dude, I, it's it's one of those things, man. Where when we're writing, we'll be like, oh yeah, like this shot seems fine. It's totally fine. And then it's the fucking eraser head shot, and I want to die. I want to fucking oh, die. The eraser <laughs> head, the eraser head scarf is. The bane of your goddamn existence. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Zing Princess, I, I, I'm struggling to accept compliments, man. I, I do my best. Do it. Oh, they're both getting better at it. We, we're getting better at it. Me and See, Izzy you are just both accepted that compliment. It. Exactly. <laughs> we're getting better at it. 
but it hurts. It does. It it's feels very so arrogant. Right? I do. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, thank you, Simpsoni. <laughs> Terrence was really taxing <laughs> on the hardware. <laughs> do the amount that Izzy begged me. He was like, I want to do Terrence. So I want to do everything to do with Terrence. I want to voice Terrence. I don't want to draw Terrence. I want to draw shitty fucking Terrence. And I was like, go for it, boy. <laughs> Let me like... birth this monster. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love... I love that you were so adamant of like, I am Terrence. No one else yep. is reading for this character. I was like, sure. I, I mean, it started out as like, I'd really like to be Terrence. Like it was really hesitant. Like of like fucking could, could I maybe like audition to be Terrence? And then it slowly became, I would like to be Terrence. And then I was like, sure. And you're like, okay, good. I am Terrence. No one else can have this. <laughs> like it just escalated. <laughs> I'll kill anyone who tries to take him from me. <laughs> I, I still love, I still love that Spencer cannot deny the fact mm -hmm. he wants to be Mineta. I know. We it's we disgusting. pitched him our version of Mineta, and he's like, I I'm, I want that. I want to be Mineta, and we have we have to remind him. Remember, you literally asked us to yep. make you Mineta. He did. He did. This is something that. you want. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, fuck it. and again, we've told this story before, but the absolute arrogance of that man when we were like, <laughs> okay, okay, we will, we will like fucking auto cast him as one character, but he's very good at both. We're going to make him audition for the other one. So I like messaged him being like, okay, you can have one character. Do you want Kirishima or do you want Mineta? And he was like, I'll take Kirishima. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. He's like, Taking care of Shima, that's cool. And then he instantly messaged me back, being like, "Because I'm gonna get Manetta too." <laughs> like he's like, "I'm gonna uh... fucking get it." And we're like, "Fuck you, no!" And then he nailed that audition, and we had to give it to him. It was bullshit. <laughs> hate him. <laughs> I hate him. I fucking hate him. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, just Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> God damn. Mm hmm. I'm, I oh. am, I'm so glad we got you as Mina, and we've just made her oh. a shipping troll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we've talked about that, but it was a whole thing of I, I auditioned and wanted Mina and Jiro, and y'all were super like- And Uraraka. And Uraraka, but that one I got beat out completely fairly. That one was just straight up, we're giving it to Katie, and I was like, fair. Like, it, it was close though, you yeah. know, we, we, we had a discussion on it. Yeah, no, for sure. And it, it, it's, it's a good call. An excellent call. Because, yeah, because then later I wanted Jiro and Mina. Mm -hmm. And I auditioned for both. And y'all were like, you are very good at both. And it was like, you can, you can choose one that you would like to be. But we are going to say, we could probably find someone else who could match the energy of Jiro. I don't know if we'll find anyone else who can match your energy for Mina. And I was like, oh, <laughs> like, oh my goodness, that's so nice. <laughs> so yeah, I was yeah. like, I'm going to be Mina. I'm going to do Mina. Yeah. Do a so great I'm Mina. Mina. I very much enjoy my Mina. I Bro do. Goblin. Yeah. <laughs> It's so easy to find the energy, and it makes me really happy. The oh. fucking chat was just like, there isn't even a script. They just put Carrie in a booth. <laughs> like that, that's that it. reminds me. That we reminds should, uh, me. Probably. We should absolutely promote the Griddler animation before we call it. Yes, yes, and then we should definitely call it very quickly. What were yes. you gonna say, Easy? Oh no, I was saying like we're over time. We should. We should oh okay. Call it. Cool, wrapping up. Yeah, heckin' our wonderful friend, uh, the Griddler. I think it's just the Griddler, right? I'll double check his. Uh, I'm so. double checking. Check his heckin' his tweet there. Well, we we tweeted it heckin' last week. He did an amazing animation, just of the scene where they first walk into the classroom with Ida Bakugo and heckin' Mina and Deku reacting to them just being insane. It's so cute. And I love it, and it makes me so happy. Y'all gotta go check it out. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Hey, I posted the link in the, the chat, so you, you guys go. can check it out. But for people mm -hmm. watching like this YouTube archive, yeah, yeah. search 
uh, the Griddler. That's the the name of the channel. Mm -hmm. And yeah, seven days ago when we were when we recorded this, so that'll be like ten days because it'll be yeah. over the <gasps> Griddler is in chat. Hello, <gasps> you talented bitch. Hello. Ye. Yeah. No. The uh, oh. the this Maha fan animation from Griddler is wonderful, and everyone mm -hmm. should go check it out. Seriously, mm -hmm. it made me so so happy. Right. Is it? Mm -hmm. Seeing our shit come to life, it's magical. It's beautiful. Like we're we're so grateful for any animation, but heck, dude, me especially. When when Maha gets love, it give, it gives me a special happy feeling because it's our second child, and we understand everybody loves Saoa. We love Saoa, but we also want people to love Maha because we put in a lot of work, man. Mm -hmm. It's that second baby. Oh, it's so good. I'm very very proud of it, especially episode three. Like, I feel like it's really, really coming together, and I can't wait for y'all to see episode four. Oh, my God. If if, oh. if if episode three doesn't convince people, I feel like episode four is where we're going to really get fans, because, <laughs> yeah. again, Bakugou oh. goes off, is all I'll say. It's <laughs> all I'm saying. Yep. Oh, yeah. We should wrap up, because heck, we got to get some, some food in our bodies, and then we got to do the Discord hang where I'm picking uh, the movie. <laughs> yeah, because Carrie's birthday uh, pick. And, uh... <laughs> Don't tell them. We're not. We're them. not telling you what it is. Because yeah. I, I, she, she told us what it is, and uh, <laughs> come join us for tonight for the Discord hang. If you're if you're on our Discord, because yeah. it's, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hurt all y'all with my trash. <laughs> Let, oh, let's man. go. Why? Let's, uh, uh, figure out who we're. Uh, who we'll send mm -hmm. everyone over to, but yeah. again, we got some good boys going. Yeah. Uh, Do you need to see Maha to appreciate the abridged series? No, you could. Yeah. yeah. It, it, I mean, Maha yeah. is a good show, but oh yeah, but oh yeah, mm -hmm. highly recommend checking it out. It's so yeah. good. But uh, yeah, we got some good boys going. We got Hakan, we got Aaron, we got Cody, we got Kurt. Uh we got we got the Otters. Oh no, I think they just they just ended. Dang it. Dang it. The otters end? I know. I thought they didn't, but I one sec, let me check. Did y'all end? Otters, did you end? Uh I don't know. Uh you know. No, Akahata... they're still going. They're still going. Akahata God, only ha Akahata has a mere eight hundred and forty people, you know. Yeah, no, I think uh, we I, need I feel to, like yeah. we could give them a boost. <laughs> Why we send them over to Cody. Yeah. Cody. <laughs> I can to get into our Discord, you gotta be a member on our Patreon. You get access to our Discord at absolutely any tier. Yay. So hack in for as little as one dollar. And it's very fun. We do movie nights usually every Friday, and if not every Friday we have a Mac movie night, like it's a good time. But we do our best. <laughs> it's a good good time. Mm -hmm. Come check it well, out. Thanks, thanks mm -hmm. again for joining us for, for this and uh Hey. Hope you're having yourselves a great day regardless. Mm hmm And we're so grateful to all of you for joining us and for hacking supporting our, our work. We love you very, very much. Yeah, yeah I mm -hmm. appreciate you guys. Mm-hmm. Anywho, get out of here. Go hang out with Cody. He's a good good boy. Yeah. Bye everybody! Bye! Bye. Bye. Bye.